Right. Hello. It's good. I'm in place. Hi, Grammy. Hi, Book Witch. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Grammy Phil. Hello. I'm pretty good. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Alexis. Hi, CCC. Hi, Miss Bean. Miss Bane. Hi, Crash Matt and Kira. And Fiona and Jackie and Jesse and Jordan and May. I know I'm making you hungry. And this is just a warm up. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Baba. Hi, Pam. Hi, everyone. Cynthia, Ishi, Carol, Rain, Jens. This is an almond croissant. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Denise and Savannah and Kimberly and Mandy and Betty and Monica and Lit Fam. You having a day from hell? I'm sorry. Hmm. Hi, Cad. And Gracie, and Litveo, and the G, and Laura, and Jerica, and Dana, and Lumina, and Cherry, and Lady, and Quentin, and Jerun, and Grissy, and Renee, and Jax, and Lexa, and Coral, and Savannah. Hi, thank you. And NR, I see you. And Moonbeam, Julie, Monica, um, I'm R, Lila, Cody, Nathan. What is a lipstick? This is the first time I'm debuting this lipstick. It is um, Sephora Lip Stain 95. Yeah, we got fun. We got fun stream today. Don't say where I'm going yet. The lovelies know, but don't say yet. It's a secret. It will become obvious once we get there, but I won't be able to eat. That is a good percent. Yeah. And this is um, just like cold brew with cream and sugar. Mm. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day. I'm not in New York. We're back in San Francisco now. My home for it. Mm. I've got the grease vibe going, I know. First first day I've worn this. Thank you, NR. Had a Rice Krispie treat. I feel that. Mm. That's a good croissant. I did... I did drop this croissant. I lived the vine. I dropped it. I picked it up, though. Oh, I'm sorry, Ria. Where we're going, Nugget can't come today. As far as I know, he can't come. Have I ever had fills? With this fills. It's great. Yeah, it was only like one second that it was on the ground. The rose latte fills is good. Yeah. Look how look at this lipstick stain on here. Bills is some of the most caffeinated coffee ever. Thank you, Brianna. Hi, Lala. Hi from South Carolina. Hello. Have I been to Golden Era? Yeah, we did a stream from there. It was okay. It wasn't that good. I feel like. They tried too hard to emulate Vietnamese food. You know what I'm saying? And not like make it their own. Like they're just, it just was ne like, it, it was like so, too easy to compare it to like the meat version because the meat version was better. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Amber. Thank you. Oh, I love Indian food. Um, the lipstick was uh, Sephora lip stain number 95. Hi, everyone. How's the sound, by the way? Does it sound like I'm talking into, talking into the microphone? I literally can't aim food into my mouth today. Sounds good? Great. Can you hear the live band playing? And all the traffic? Hi from Japan, hello. Is it slightly muffled? It should be. I'm not in New York City. No, we're in San Francisco. Do I have any napkins? They gave me napkins and then I promptly lost them. Classic. 
Classic me. Have I got my loops in today? No, but I do have my loops with me. Will I ever visit Los Angeles? I'm not opposed to visiting Los Angeles, but I would need a reason, you know? Please hug Nugget for me. I will. That video is making you miss San Francisco. There's a lot to miss. I did remember the lasagna. Thank you, Goldie. I took it out of the stroller and put it in the fridge. I've not eaten it yet. Thank you, Caitlin G. <clears throat> Thank you, Splendid. Am I going to be on live later today? Depends on how later you mean. Uh, chances are I'll be on for at least a few hours here. <clears throat> no, Nugget did not poop the bed last night. Somehow. No pooping of the bed last night. Hi, sissy. I'm out to Sacramento this weekend. We'll hit up some Halloween stores? Oh, there's the napkin. Never been to Sacramento. Got all this lipstick on my fingers. Do I need to reapply? Or are we good? What do we think? Maybe not. Maybe we'll do it after lunch. Phil's is good, but have you had Pete's? I think Phil's is pretty, like, unanimously better than Pete's. Right? Am I thinking of the right thing? P-E-T-S? Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, way better. Pete's, I would compare to Starbucks. Um, Phil's is, like, a couple steps above that. Oh, of course not. Hi, Ashley. Phil's is, like, way better than Pete's. I live closer to a Phil's. No, I live closer to a Pete's. But I will walk farther to get Phil's as opposed to Pete's, if that makes sense. Thank you. Like my watch? Thank you. Um, took the ferry from Vallejo to San Francisco last week, and I loved it. Nice. Blue bottle. Blue bottle's okay. Blue bottle is somewhere between Pete's and Phil's. It's better than Pete's and Starbucks, but it's not as good as Phil's. Like, the coffee doesn't get much better than Phil's. Would you come to the UK? Sure. I go to the UK. Uh, what do I do for work? You're looking at it. I'm a lucky girl. All right. So we are now going to... I needed the coffee. We were sitting down just to get the croissant. Dutch bros? Oh, yeah. No, wait. I've heard of Dunn bros. That's more like Midwest. Um, I used to live next to Dunbros. I need to come to South Africa and have some biltong. And what's up, Rye? I know what biltong is. It's like jerky. I haven't been to SF in 10 years. Dang. Did I leave everything? Anything? No, we're good. All right. Off we go. We got a little bit of a walk ahead of us. Which side of the street do we want to walk on? Let's go on this side of the street. Joe and the Juice, you know, I don't, I haven't had Joe and the Juice enough to make a verdict on its coffee. But I do know the Matrix 4 filmed in Joe and the Juice in San Francisco. Fry is a barbecue. Okay. I did not know that. I, I am in San Francisco, yes. There's a big Salesforce conference here right now called Dreamforce, which I think is the reason there's so much traffic right now. Jenny Lynn. You're near there? Cool. Hi, Joe. How old am I? I am 30. 30 years old. I still haven't fluffed my bangs. Should we fluff? Should we stop to, to fluff bangs? Or should we Or should we do it once we get there? I was going to let them dry for a little bit and then fluff them. What do you think? Barb? Yes, I am 30. My, my. Oh, you vey. Let them dry? No. I'm only 30. thought I was in my mid-20s. Well, thank you. I'll tell you what. You would think that I was older before I transitioned. I was in my... I looked like I was in my 30s. And now, yeah, I do look younger. Two years younger than you. How do I afford to live in San Francisco? Via the generosity of the lovelies and various other things. I look younger because I'm happy. Yeah, basically. That's basically it. I'm 30, but not counting it because I was in the hospital for it. Okay, so you got to do the whole year over again. I'm 32, 93 babies. Yep, that's me. I would make an amazing teacher. Thank you. Yeah, I, um, I used to teach. I actually ran an after-school program for a while, which isn't exactly teaching, but I used to be in education. Uh, but it just kind of... 
I found other things like this that I like more. Leia was born in 2000. Yeah, that one, Kayla. I like your hair, but your face is way cuter. Is that an egg? I can't tell. <laughs> Are we still negging in 2023? I'm not sure. Uh, I guess, oh, thank you, Cassie. Hi, Metal Bell. 1997 here, cool. I'm 27, but ready to be 30, flirty, and thriving. I hear that. Oh, no, Lauren Beth. I am sensing, sorry about the beeping. I am sensing some tea. I'm going to read this. My marriage for a semester, and I'm not going to lie, I had a uh, fling with a girl named Lynn. So, or is that you? <laughs> I, I, I doubt it. Oh, thank you, we. Love uh, the sun. It's out and shining today. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear from Lauren Beth. Is the stream pause? Am I crazy? Okay, there we go. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I started counting my age. My engagement is probably over. We need to hear about that too, Metal Bell. We need to hear about your engagement. Lauren, my husband yelled at me because the alarm went off four times. Oh my. I did not pre order this, the iPhone 15. It didn't have the thing that I wanted, uh, which was a better front facing camera. So. I'll probably upgrade at some point, but I'm not as excited now. Thank you, Mandy. It is busy. What street is this? Third? Second? No, it's New Montgomery. And we're coming out. I fixed it. Good, good, good. Um, well, anyways, I, there's two people with tea. Did, uh, did, I, did I ever say anything? Someone said their marriage is over and someone said their engagement is over. I don't mean to pester. But you kind of like hinted at some tea and I'm not seeing any follow up, which is fine. But also like, why well, you got a tease? Oh, you posted it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I missed it when the stream jumps. I'm looking for it. It might have gotten filtered. Could have gotten filtered. Yeah, it got filtered. Well, thank you. Did, did, can a mod go through and pin that so I can see it, please? Because it's hard for me to scroll up. What is a nice way to ask someone their pronouns while we're waiting for a mod to pin? Uh, you can do it like this. Hey, what are your pronouns? It's, it's really, it's like, make it super casual. It's not, it's not, it doesn't need to be anything more than that. All right, Metal Bell. So wait, did we see Metal Bell's comment? I feel like... I'm missing it. I feel left out. If any, everyone else saw it, I want to see. No? No, I don't see it. All right, cool. It did get filtered. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll come back at some point and give us the tea. Thank you, Lizzie. Appreciate it. Where are we going? I, I'm not going to say where I'm going until we're there. Uh, I know where we're going for lunch. She documented on TikTok. Okay. They said work is going. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> can you see this? I can see that, but Lauren, but you got to um, just say it in a different way. Probably something that you wrote was getting filtered. And I can't tell you where we are going for lunch. Although basically as soon as I walk in, you will know. <laughs> Hi, Jen. I've always been scared to ask someone their pronouns in case I offend them. No. Michaela, if you came up to me on the street, or if we, like, met at a party or something, and you said, okay, what are your pronouns? I'd say, oh, thank you for asking. She, her. That's what I would say. So I don't think you need to worry. Ooh, woo. Hello, Eli. Ooh, woo. I haven't done that one in a while. 
Ew, ew. That's the girl voice everyone wants to hear. Hi, Demi. Inspiration for hair? Um, I don't really have an inspiration for hair. I just kind of do what I think looks good. I don't know. Maybe I do have an inspiration and don't realize it. Informative and fun. Thank you, Tisha. Hi, R. Kellogg. Hi, Marie. Thank you, Quick. Someone was upset. Fluffing? What's fluffing? I don't know what that means. Mainly bigots get mad when you ask pronouns. Yeah. Trans people, you, 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 it's a good thing to ask. You're almost always going to get a positive response. The fear is, oh, you know, if I ask someone their pronouns, then I'm pointing out to that person that they're trans, right? Or like saying, you don't pass. We know if we pass or not. And it's better that you ask than get it wrong. Um, so, yeah. Oh, fluffing of the bangs. That's what I, yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Uh, we'll, we'll do it once we get to lunch. How about that? We're, we're on a mission right now. I've got coffee in my other hand, so we'll get there. I'm familiar with that one as well, Goldie, but I... Hi, Aurora. Thank you. I don't know what I'm going to do for Halloween. No, probably not much. Maybe we'll do a fun Halloween stream. Um, if I could bottle and sell your energy, you'd make bank. What if I could? Although, as long as that wasn't, like, depleting me of energy. I got you, Goldie. What's our lunch of choice? I'm not going to tell you until we're there. Just so if anyone wanted to do something stupid, we're not giving them a head start. <laughs> uh, yeah, you keep getting filtered, Lauren. Just think about, try and say it in another different way. Um, if there's any words that on their own seem like they might be in our filtered thing. Yeah. What do I like most about living in San Francisco? Safety for me. He's asking me to choose him or my family. Why? What's wrong? Is there something about your family he doesn't like? Taking Rico trick or treating. Oh, nice. That's fun. What about, sounds like he has a problem with your family? What kind of food? I'll, I'll tell you. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of crime there. No, not really. I mean, there's just as much crime as any other major city, but it's not like... You can't walk down the street without getting mugs. I love this city. I feel safe. Uh, potentially, Sandra, possibly. Choose family. Yeah, of course, choose family. But she's going as Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Am I a 49ers fan? I'm not really a sports fan, period. Would I ever move to Florida? No. I think you already know the answer to that. Where'd I get my mic? On Amazon. Just type in iPhone mic and it'll pop up. You feel safe in San Francisco? Yeah. I just moved to California and always heard differently. Well, now that you're in California, you would know, right? It's fine. It's, it's great. I mean, yeah, there are problems, of course. Huge problems. But you know what other city has huge problems? Every other city. <laughs> Hi, Kagan Ella. Yeah, I think maybe Lauren Beth is getting filtered again while she's explaining why the family misunderstood what they said to him. What did they say to him? What did they say to him? Which states have I lived in? Georgia, Florida, Minnesota, California, and Germany for a little bit. And Scotland, if you count that semester abroad. You find, no, we did not. Metal Bell, you're probably also getting filtered. I walk so much, is it for fun? I mean, I guess you could say for fun. I guess. I like to walk. Not like... I don't know if fun's the right word. Maybe. For enjoyment and health and happy brain chemicals. They were questioning his step-parenting and he got upset. Was there a good reason for them to question his step-parenting? seems like one comment is a little bit rash 
-hmm. Like, even if it was a bad comment, then, like, coming through with an ultimatum of, like, me or family, pretty, you know... I mean, that's a... How long have you been married to this guy? Yeah, he sounds like a walking red flag. Like, even if they said something truly terrible to him, just sounds like maybe they didn't. Extreme, sure. Uh, why would he... It's a bit... It's a bit rash. I mean, is this an isolated incident, or is there other stuff? No, Metal Bell, you almost certainly got filtered. I looked for it before. You gotta type it again. Just try and type it in a different way. What street is this? This is the story of a girl. Oh, there it is. There's the restaurant. Well, you can message me, Metal Bell, but I think we should talk on stream because, you know? Hey, Emery. How did Nugget do? Nugget did great. I have not eaten yet. No, we're going to eat right now. Is that, yeah, Emily, I'm here. Free food. We're going to be eating soon. I say that every time. Wait, what do you say every time? Thank you, Lamori. Hi, Briz. We're almost there. Y'all are gonna know where we are. I'll try and hide it as long as possible. Long story short, he moved. It's been a month. I've only talked to him once. Oh, so your engagement is over. You mean you're engaged to someone who moved away from you and now doesn't talk to you anymore? Sounds like your engagement is over. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? This is the story of a girl. Got it, Kendra. Thank you. Yeah. Like, sounds like he ended it without saying that he was ending it, which is kind of lame. Yeah, just tell him then. Look, you, you want to get married to this guy who doesn't want to talk to you? Jeez. Kind of like setting a bad precedent there for the rest of your life. Yeah, just like text. Honestly, like, this is kind of petty. You could call him. But it sounds like you could literally just text this man and say, hey, it's over, and block his number and be over it. You know what I'm saying? Hi there. Better now before the marriage? Yeah, exactly. Once it becomes legal. Oh, no, that is a check. He's avoiding the pain. I've started my journey. Good. Good. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely get rid of that guy. Get rid of him. Thank you, royalty. <gasps> Dog. Maybe I should bring Nugget next time. I give good advice. Thank you. Okay. Here we are. It's 4 o'clock in the morning when I last saw you. Now it's 9.36 at night. Well, there we go. Time has, has indeed passed. Oof. Okay. We're going to need to take a quick break before we do things. Is it hot today? No, but I just walk too fast. We're going to find, I don't know, a couch to sit on. I feel like they have these here. Hopefully reception's good. I'm not gonna tell you where I am. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Alright, metal. Just looking for a chair. I know they have chairs here. I know they have them here. Get out of here. The line for the cafe is like five miles long. <laughs> People are literally here just for the food. That's fine. 
All right, we'll wait a little bit here. We'll go sit down for a little bit and then come back once we're done with our coffee. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to eat here no matter what, unless they kick us out. I don't think they would, though. I don't see why they would. What are you talking about? I don't know what y'all are talking about. It's lunchtime, so wherever we are, and I'm not telling you where we are. Am I just being coy? I'm definitely not at that place that y'all are saying. How could I be there? That would be ridiculous if I was there. You hear me, Amy? Oh, they have Diet Coke available. That's a good sign. I don't know what y'all are saying. Ooh, furniture? Should we try downstairs, see if there's good reception down there? I bet there isn't, but we'll try. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a couch over here. There's a couch over here. Ah. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> Hi, everyone. You crossed the bay today. Nice. Where'd you go? Getting ready five hours early. Oh, is Beyonce? Where's Beyonce tonight? What's my Phil's order? This was a cold brew with light cream and light sugar. Thank you, Kaganella. I don't know how you would know where I am. How would you know where I am? I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere in particular right now. I am sweaty though. I don't know, unstable connection. Is it lagging for anyone? It's laggy. How about this? Oh no. Okay. Hopefully it's good here. Like a, All right, a, hold on. I'm just going to look for anywhere to sit down now. It's good now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the cafe is got a long line. So I was thinking we could just wait it out. Does that sound good? Ongoing married married eight months? Oh. Okay, well, eight months sounds like how how long did you date before you got married? That's another question. How long did you have to get to know each other before this man said, hey, <laughs> I'm crazy. You're Taylor Swift. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Ooh, couch over here maybe? Who is Taylor Swift even? I never heard of Taylor Swift. See how this is. How's the reception here? Hi. I watch you on Instagram all the time. Thank you. I love you. Keep doing everything that you're doing. I've just found out that you live in San Francisco. I was like, oh my gosh. So I just want to say I love you. I'm sorry that I just walked up on you like that. It's fine. Do you want to say hi to the screen? Yes. 
There's a lot of people. Okay. All right. What's your name? I'm Shantavia. Shantavia? Yeah. Y'all meet Shantavia. Uh, <laughs> it'll take it'll take a second before they start saying hi. There we go. Yes. Hi. I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> She's here. I gotta say something. Good to meet you. Yes, this is you too. Welcome to me. Thank you. Uh, You've confirmed it. I've been trying to hide where I am right okay. now. Welcome. Thank you. Sorry. Enjoy. Appreciate it. Bye, Sean TV. See ya. Love that. That was so sweet. Ah, I love that kind of thing. So nice. All right. You've been, you were engaged at seven months and married at one year. So you are now one year, eight months into knowing this man, Lauren. Okay. Um, congrats. It's Apollo. Uh, is this behavior a surprise to you? Is this man, the fact that he did this, like, to, like you hear one bad thing from your family and then decide to make you disown your family? Does that sound, I know, I, I saw that comment. I said, congrats, Apollo. That's awesome. Um, which which HRT? Which one? I can't see you. Uh, so I don't know. But congrats either way. Um, anyways. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, Lauren. Is this surprising to you? Is there, were there signs that this man is, like, going to make you disown your family? I did not already eat. No not already eat. That's awesome, Apollo. I'm happy for you. Happy for you. Why is my hair always wet? Because I shower before I stream, usually, and it takes a long time. My family has toxic tendencies, which he helped me get away from, but the ultimatum is hard. Okay, but... So it's not the first time. I guess I'm trying to get a feel for it, Lauren. Like, is your family... Like, do you want to disown your family? I, I don't understand. Go for it, Caleb. No, not the first time. So you say toxic tendencies. That that gives me pause, right? Are they a positive force in your life? Do I know what? What is this? Load shedding. I do not know what that is. Uh, Caleb, I already said that you can ask a question. Yes. Um... Thank you, Layla. I just turned 18 and I'm gonna come out to my parents, but I'm really scared. Kay, you got this. You got this. I believe in you. Load shedding means no electricity. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, yes, I am, Beef Sprout. How was Nugget's belly last night? Fine, he did good. Um, Oh, it's not the 2014 choker. This is the 1998 choker. It's a different model. My mother is homophobic, and she said if I was gay, they would kick me out and move to Mexico. Oh, my God. I am sorry, Vampire Prophecies. Sounds like you have two tough years ahead of you, and once you turn 18, get the heck out of there. Dysfunctional families shouldn't be a term for needing to disown them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Lauren Beth, I don't know if you're still there. I haven't seen anything from you in a second, but... Look, it's one thing to have toxic tendencies, right? But are they, like, actively doing really bad things to you or your family? Because if that's the case, then, it, I mean, it's separate, right? If your family is toxic, then you need to deal with that one way or another. But it sounds like your husband is making an ultimatum based on, he's, like, combining the two things. Are there other things that your husband is doing? Other than this, Lauren Beth, is is he is he is, are there any other red flags? Like, is there anything else that he's doing that we should know about for context? Because it seems very out of the blue that he would randomly do an ultimatum, unless this is a trend, right? My hair is naturally this curly. Yeah, we can fluff it out of it. It's still very wet, so but we can do a little bit of fluffing. Yeah. How do I deal with all the hate? It's not easy. I'm working on it. Um, I had therapy about it yesterday. Uh, it's not easy. That's about as good as we're going to get right now. Happy Thursday, Vera. 
All right, Lauren Beth, are you still there? Do you have any SF or East Bay volunteering recommendations, especially for the queer community? Um, I don't have enough. I don't really have any for the queer community, but I will say that if you like dogs, Muttville is a good one. They've got a lot of volunteer opportunities. Yeah, it is. It is the hate is very difficult. Getting filtered. Yeah, Lauren, try um, look at each word you say. Because, and if it sounds like that might be a filtered word, like man or, you know, guy or anything like that, try, try or use like alternate spellings. That would be helpful. Thank you, Rissy. Try moose by the do. Okay. Do I take social media breaks? Ah. <laughs> hey, Brandy. The thing that I've been doing to try and combat all the hate um, is to try and meet the hate with kindness. That's which is very difficult. Hey, Brody. Uh, that's really the only way to fight it is to meet it with kindness, I've learned. Still makes it hard, but I'm working on it. Uh, yes, my hair is naturally curly. Someone asked what the difference between gay and queer is. Um, queer is like a larger umbrella term, and gay is underneath. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jane Slane. I appreciate that. I try. Uh, it's not always easy. Hi, Josh Sears. Yeah, no one truly loves themselves who hate other people. Yeah, I hear that. Um, we I still haven't eaten yet. We're waiting for the line of the cafe to go down before we go eat food. And they definitely turned up the music. Yeah, I yeah, cement bug. I, I do try to say hi to everyone. Like M. Rosales, M or Mr. Osalis or M. Rosales. My husband has heard of the game you played on Discord a few days ago and is interested in it. Cool. It's a great game. Thanks, Lynn. Oh, well, thank you, Christy. Hi, Carly. Who is this? Is this that one Panic, panic at the Disco, maybe? Sounds like the Panic at the Disco guy. I think. Happy Thursday, soy sauce. Thank you, Hunt, Hannah. Yeah, Panic at the Disco. I was right. Mostly from my mom, but but who who is doing the gaslighting, Lauren? Your, your family or your husband? Because my question is, is there is this an isolated is incident for your husband? Oh, I'm sorry, Sierra. It happens, but I appreciate you coming back. Accidental mutes happen all the time. The family is okay. Now, what about your husband? That's my that's the that's the question I have. Uh, what is Discord? It's our community hub. It's like our group chat. Um, if you sign up for the Patreon, you get access to our Discord. The Trevor Project. Yeah, no, totally. Trevor Project is a great one. I, I guess they probably have like local volunteer stuff. If you probably Panic of the Disco helped with your bio awakening. That's that makes sense. They have very queer vibes. Are they queer? Are they queer? What are you asking? What warm av? Uh, you're probably getting filtered. I haven't seen any questions. How do you sign up? Uh, you go to the Patreon, patreon.com slash lilitino, and you subscribe at the $5 level, and then it will give you a link to join the Discord. Yep. Yeah, Googling is going to be more helpful than me for volunteering. Lithvea has it right. Um, Sienna says, I don't know. That's... Lala, I, I wonder... That Sienna comment gave me pause. Was that a person like being honest about needing help accepting trans people? I'm not sure. Um, because if that was the case, then I'll answer that. If you if you need help accepting trans people, all is great with your husband. You mean? So this is an isolated incident, is what you're saying? Bonsoir, Piet. We have not eaten yet, no. We have not eaten yet. Okay, well, then, then Lauren, look, if it's an isolated incident, um, go ahead, Mackenzie, sure. Uh, but look, if it's an isolated incident with your guy and you're saying that your family is gaslighting you, I think there is a situation here where you can understand that your husband is reacting to something that it sounds like has been happening for a while and trying to help. He's probably coming from, and I'm, you know, 
you know better than I do, but it sounds like he's trying to help you either cut off a toxic relationship or inadvertently heal that relationship, right? Because he's forcing your hand to do something, right? So if you go to him and say, hey, I'm not going to cut off my family, but I'm going to talk to them, right? Or I'm going to set boundaries, right? I, I mean, you're married. Sounds like you have a healthy relationship. If you trust him, which it sounds like you do, then you might trust him to be to tell you something important like this like hey your family is like a net negative effect on you right so you know what i'm saying you don't necessarily need to meet his ultimatum but it sounds like you need to do something right you need to do something just for yourself like him aside and i think it sounds like maybe if it's gaslighting just like a casual talk isn't going to work it needs to be some sort of intervention or um or boundary setting of some some way. You know what I'm saying? I hope that's helpful. Cutting my cutting out my friend's friend who sent me into a panic attack out of Oh, nice. Hi, Kali E. Okay. Sienna, are you still there? Sienna? Because that's that's like a valid question. Um, I think. Just watch, I mean, okay, hi, Sienna. So, Sienna, um, just to confirm, you are someone who has come in good faith, it seems, wanting to learn how to accept trans people. Coming, coming, being honest, saying, I don't, like, that you don't accept trans people, but you're here to learn. Is that what you're saying? Because I'm, I'm here to help. This is, the, I'm happy if I get to do this once a day. Sending boundaries can be hard, but uncomfortable. Yeah. So, I mean, it sounds like maybe your husband, I mean, initially I was like, yeah, husband's in the wrong. Boo. Um, yeah, maybe he's, maybe there's something to what he's saying. All right, Sienna. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Sienna, question number one. I know. Do you know what it means to be transgender? Do you understand the definition? And again, this conversation is in good faith. We're, all, we're, we're here to talk, honestly. Um, that's my question to you. Do, you. do you know what it means? Because if you don't, I'm happy to tell you. Um, but I just want to understand where, where, where we're starting at. Hey, Lewis. What's up? Are you the Lewis as in, like, Lewis from a while ago? Trans man from the UK? Or are you a different Lewis? Um, so we'll start there. We'll start there if you know what trans means, what it means to be trans. Hi, Destiny. Am I still banned? No, you're, you're good. Yes, it's me. Hi. How you doing? Hello, Metalcore. First time. What's up? Hi, Gina. All right, Sienna, um, are you still there? Yeah, look, we got we to gotta meet things with kindness. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... I, in the past month or two, I've been really mean like others. Wait, wait. What do you mean mean like others? You might have gotten filtered on the other comment. Um, I, did you answer my question? I'm not sure if you did. Thank you, Zest. Um, so ready for food time? Me too. We're just going to let the line die down a little bit. Um, and we're having a good conversation here, so we can, we can wait. We'll go. Oh, thank you, Bailey. Um, but yeah, I was saying, like, feel in the last couple of months, if you all ever seen any of my posts, especially on Facebook lately, um, you'll see how much hate there is. And it's like the human brain is not meant to withstand that much. Okay, there's Sienna. Yes, I want to be educated so I won't be mean like the others who are not educated. Okay, all right, so. All right, Sienna. I'm, I'm going to like, the, the way I, the I want to do this is I'm going to like say something and then like, ask and make sure you're cool with what I say before we move on, okay? Like you understand, just so, just so I don't like talk, 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 and then you're like lost, okay? Here we go. When we're born, we come out with a certain set of parts. Generally speaking, there's two different sets of parts, 
You understand this? You know what you know you get what I'm talking about, Sienna? It's like a it's like I just wanna make sure Sienna's here. Because people can leave. Hi fur. Okay. So parts that we have are literally just bits of tissue and cells, right? Do you agree? Well, so we're born with a set of parts. And typically we say, if you have one set of parts, you're a boy. And if we have another set of parts, you're a girl, right? And you know what which means which. Gender, boy and girl. They're very big concepts, right? Being a boy, it's a, there's a lot of things that go into it, right? There's what you wear, how you act, how you fit in with society, what kind of jobs you have, your body language, the, what, what you do, how you walk through your life. It's a big concept, right? Same thing with girl, right, or women. What you wear, how you talk, how you walk, body language, all these different things, okay? So why is it that your body parts, a simple lump of cells, determines what your gender is, right? We use body parts to assign a baby a gender at birth because it usually corresponds one to one. Usually if you have one set of parts, you're a boy, and if you have another, you're a girl. But it's not always the case. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? That the link between your parts and your gender is not, there's not necessarily as much of a link there as you thought. Does that, do you, are you on board so far, Sienna? I'm pausing, pausing for Sienna. Okay. So to summarize, gender and parts that you're born with are not linked one to one. Okay. So what if you're born with one set of parts that normally means boy, but you're actually not a boy? What if you're actually a girl, you're just born with a different set of parts? Does that sound, what, 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 how does that sit with you? Because that's what it means to be transgender, right? You come out of your mother, you have a certain set of parts, they say boy, which they said to me. And then a few years later, I said, oh, actually, no, y'all got it wrong. I am actually a girl. Does that make sense? They say, no, 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 no. Normally, you, you're right. Most of the time, most of the time, it's correct. But it's not always correct. And you got it wrong for me. I'm actually a girl. I'm understanding. Good. So that's what it means to be transgender, okay? The gender that you're assigned at birth, the educated guess that the doctors made to say, oh, it's a boy or it's a girl is not necessarily correct. That's what it means to be trans, okay? So we grow up and we're supposed to, we, we, we're trying to fit in a pair of shoes that, we, that our feet just don't fit into, right? We're trying to fit in this role of boy, which was what I had to do. And I was just like, I'm always uncomfortable. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a pair of shoes that just, it's hurting my feet all day, every day. And I need, to find a new pair of shoes that fits. And it just so happened that that pair of shoes that would fit me, and that does fit me, is girl, girl shoes. Um, so I transitioned from one gender to another, the gender I was assigned to the gender I actually am, transgender. You know, the word trans means across, right? Like transatlantic, you go across the Atlantic. Whereas cisgender means that the gender you were assigned at birth was correct was actually the gender that you are. So if you didn't go from one gender to another, that means you stayed at the gender you were given. That makes you cis gender. Okay? Does this make sense, Sienna? Thank you, Shelby. I hope this makes sense for Sienna. I hope, and anyone else, I'm happy you found yourself. Thank you again for educating me. Yeah, people should ask to learn. Yeah, um, I hope that helped. If you have other questions, that's the basics. There's other stuff. Um, 
but that's the basics. I hope it helped. Thank you, Nikia. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy I found myself too. It was, um, it took a long time. I made Daddy understand perfect. I'm glad. I'm glad, Danny. Thank you, Lisa. Um, can you elaborate? Well, uh, John, I'm, I, I, uh, if the parts are redundant. Now, I think your comment is not necessarily in good faith, but I'm going to answer it anyways. Not every trans person wants surgery, okay? For some people, it is gender affirming to have bottom or top surgery. For some people, it is not. It depends. There is absolutely an intersection between your parts and your gender. Some people feel it affirms their gender to have gender affirming surgery. And some people don't care. Maybe they're ambivalent. I, for example, you know, if I could snap my fingers and switch it, I would, but you know, it's a lot. So it, it's a case by case basis, case by case basis. Um, yeah. So that's, that's that watching your lives when I get, Oh, thank you, Catherine. I'm glad. Uh, hi, Brianna. So yeah, there we go. If anyone else wants, if anyone else who's like not quite sure about trans people wants to ask a question, this would be the time. If you got a question like, oh, what about this one thing? What about this thing? I've heard about this. What about that? I will answer. Um, no, no highlighted tips. All natural. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Alicia. Hi, Destiny. Appreciate the emotional labor. Look, yeah, like, like I said, the last few months have been tough for me emotionally. And I want, I want to start trying to meet, meet these things a little bit more with kindness. And it feels good to do. Of course, Hi. John. Got you. Of course, Tammy. I knew I was trans in 2020. It took me 27 years to figure it out. Um, there's a lot of reasons of why it took so long. But it did take me that long. A lot of people know when they're very young. Not everyone. Um, especially in places where it's like, the idea of being trans is never talked about. Um, you might not necessarily realize that you're experiencing gender dysphoria. I look back and it makes perfect sense, but you might not always know. Um, kindness is free. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I think the only reason, the only, only reason, the only way to fight hate is with kindness. And I'm, I'm really trying to like focus on that in my life a lot lately. Um, thank you, Alida. What was my aha moment? You know, I started, I had this urge in like 2019, or like an impetus, maybe is the better word. Um, well, I'll get to you in a second, Kristen. I'm going to pin this so that I remember. Um, in like late 2019, I was like, I, I just would love a sports bra. I would feel good in a sports bra. I just want to go get one. Because I had one at one point for a cosplay, and I was like, God, I love wearing that. It would make me feel good to get another one. Um... And I only was able to muster up the courage to do it once I moved to San Francisco in 2020 during the pandemic. And once I, once I like got the first dress, I was like, Ooh, and then I got a little, another, another like slightly nicer dress and a wig. And that was when I saw her, I saw Lily and I was like, boom, that's her. That's me. It's time to transition. I know now that's when I knew. How do you feel now that the pops are removed? I feel good. I feel great because my body isn't producing testosterone anymore, uh, which is great because testosterone makes my body a certain way that is dysphoric. So it's great. Um, I wasn't till 2019 when I was more open being bi. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, you are, thank you, Heather Hayes. How'd I choose the name Lily? Um, it was a name that was kind of always with me, honestly. Why is it not okay for me? Oh, all right, Susan. We haven't gotten into this in a second. I'm going to do it. I apologize to everyone. We get, we go down the cis rabbit hole sometimes. It's been a second. Susan, before, before I tell you, Susan 143, are you willing to have an honest and good faith conversation about this? That's what I need. I need you to agree to, to let me know if you are open, if you're going to open your mind here. 
um, because that that's in order, in order for this to work, I need to know. Yes, of course, I genuinely would like to know. Okay, so Susan, here we go, y'all. Before I tell you what cis means, can you tell me from your point of view what cis means? That's that that that's I think will give us a good starting point to talk about it. Susan said, here I'll pin Susan's last question since we're getting into it today. And again, kindness to Susan. Susan is here in good faith. All right. So Susan's gonna tell us why or what she, her definition of the word cis is. That's gonna be our starting point. I hope you had Cadden or Cadden. Thank you, T-Dog. I appreciate it. How long does it take to do my hair? 10, 15 minutes. Appreciate that, y'all. Thank you, Savannah. Got you, Crystal. Thank you, Lavora. Yep, we're talking about what it means to be cis, so I'm going to wait for um, Susan to come through. She's still there, I would imagine. You might be getting filtered. Um, there's a lot of words that are factually correct. Well... Listen, listen to what we have to say here, okay? If you're like Susan and you are of the same mind, why is it okay that I don't want to be called cis? Keep an open mind today, okay? Thank you, Debbie. Um, am I ever afraid to be myself? No. I'm looking for it. Yep. It might have gotten filtered. Susan, are you still there? I'm very curious as well. Very open mind. Good, Heather. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Mahogany, I didn't see your question or else I would have answered it. Uh, try and type it a different way. Thank you, Olivia. Yes, I commented. Okay, it got filtered. Can you try and say it one more time? Just like change the wording a little bit. My mind is open, but mm, we should be able to choose what we want to be known. Okay. Well, how, how about this? Becoming me, why don't you also tell me, where? give me a starting point. What is the definition of cis to you? What is your definition of cis? What is your definition? Okay. That's, that's where we'll start. Oh, thank you, Margaret. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mandy. Bye, Parker. Um, hey, from Toronto. Oh, I'm glad, Savannah. Hope this doesn't offend. But will my voice become more feminine? No. Taking estrogen does not make your voice more feminine. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Al. Hi, AKA Janny. Hi, Steph from Pittsburgh. Uh, we are gonna go eat as soon as we're done here. Hi, Jinsey. How you feeling? Uh, once um, we have both Susan and the Become Me, I think is her name. Um, all right, if I don't hear from them in a second, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what my definition is. Um, you Googled it, perfect. All right. So I'm not sure if Susan or Become Me are, are here. Sounds like either you left or you're getting filtered. Either way. Well, how about this? Are you here? Are both of you here still? You did reply. You got filtered. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'm going to tell you, and I want you to tell me what you think. Okay. Like I said earlier, when we're born, we're assigned a gender. Do you agree? We'll start with that. That's, that's a very basic concept that we need to agree on before we can move forward. Become me and Susan. Do you understand what I say, what I mean when, you, when I say assigned a gender? Susan says yes. Okay. Do you agree that gender is assigned? As in, it might not be the correct gender that you're assigned. Do you, do you, are you, do you follow me there? Or are we on the same page there? I know Susan's here. I don't know if Become Me is still here. Okay, did we lose? I believe gender is, okay, so what does gender mean to you, Becoming Me? How about that? Because yeah, define gender. How about that? Let's start there. Because um, gender is something that I would say 
is not really much at all to do with biology and mostly a construct, cultural. Um, so what about Susan? Did Susan say? Hi, Cassia. All right. All right, are you still here, Become Becomes Me? Or Susan? Because we, we'll, we'll continue this conversation regardless, but um, chromosomes, okay. So let's look at it this way. You are replying, you keep getting filtered. Um, you have a certain set of parts, right? You're born with a certain set of parts. Let's say my parts, you know what those are. What about those parts informs gender, right? What about it? So what kind of job I'll have, what, what my body language is, what kind of role I play in the world, what the way that I talk, the way that I walk, what is the link between my parts, my clump of cells and that? Because there is a correlation, but there's not a one-to-one -one link, right? So when we're born, we're assigned a gender. It's an educated guess. Like, oh, we, think, we know that the parts that Lily was born with usually means boy. So we're going to say boy, Pro probably a boy. Most of the time that's correct, but not always. Because gender and the parts that you have, and I'm using the word parts, you know what I mean? are two different things, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying, Susan? They're two different things. If we can't talk about cis versus trans unless we are on board about that. There is no point of telling you why cis and trans are fine words until we're on board with that. What do we think? Susan, you still there? Chantel says, I believe gender is determined at birth by parts, but your soul might not match. Um, kind of, but not really. Uh, it's more like your gender is determined at birth. Your gender is inherent to you, but it doesn't match your parts necessarily. There's no like, there's not really a link there. There's a correlation. Usually one set of parts means a gender, but it doesn't always mean that. Anyways, uh, yes, I am very comfortable referring, being referred to as trans. I am a proud trans woman. Very proud. very proud so um it does not bother trans people to be called trans it does not um i know a little bit of lag sorry all right we'll walk somewhere else um the parts do not define gender that is correct so how do you feel about trans people who won't use the word trans those people do not exist Trans people are trans. There is no, you can't be someone, there are not trans people out there who are not trans. That doesn't make any sense. Cis, okay. Uno momento, let me find one more, let me find a place to sit down, hold on. Hey, where did you find that chair? Oh, this is already here. It was already there? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to sit on this table for a little while. Okay. Um, okay, so... If we're on the same page about gender and your parts not having a link,
that means that I am trans. And if someone is cis, it means that the gender they were assigned at birth is the one they actually are, right? So let's just say if I was assigned male at birth and I am a boy gender wise, that would make me a cisgender man. But I was assigned boy at birth and I am a woman, which makes me a transgender woman. Okay, so there's no value judgment on cis or trans. It's not like trans and cis are good and bad. They are just, they're like left and right handed. There's no, there's no like judgment on it. It is simply a fact of being. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Anyways, let's go check the line of the cafe. Steffi has a question. Okay. I'm glad you think so, Jocelyn James. Well, but Hazel Eyes, saying that you don't want to be called cis is like saying you don't want to be called left-handed. Like, you still use your left hand. You still are left-handed, even if you want to be called not left-handed, right? You still are. Um, and really, the reason, ultimately, whether you want to admit it or not, you don't want to be called cis is because being called cis implies the validity of being called trans. Just like being called straight implies that you're allowed to be gay. A lot of people in, back in the day got upset when they got called straight. Don't call me straight. Because being straight means it's okay to be gay. Means there's an opposite of straight. There isn't. Don't be gay. Same thing with cis. Same exact logic. It's like saying, don't call me cis because I don't like the fact that trans people are now allowed to exist. Right? There shouldn't be an opposite because I'm just normal. Right? Would you agree, Hazel Eyes, that you're just normal? Because, you know what I'm saying? Think about it. Back in the day, people got upset when you called them straight. Because being called straight implies that being gay is okay. It implies there's an opposite of straight, which is gay, instead of normal. Same thing with cis and trans. I didn't see your question, I'm sorry. Can we get it back up? I don't mean mind being called cis, but at the same time, I don't care if they don't. Don't what? You've seen people get mad for being called trans. Well, Hazel Eyes, look, there's a lot of trans people out there. I cannot account for all of them. We're a very diverse group of people. But there's just like there's nothing wrong with being called cis, there's nothing wrong with being called trans. I am trans. I will always be trans. I'm not going to suddenly become cis one day. Um, just like you are cis, you will always be cis. These are fact of existence for us. Um, they're neither good nor bad. Just like I'm left-handed. I am. I use my left hand for everything. I will always be left-handed. That's all it is. Um, so, yeah. Look, I, 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 I understand where you're coming from, Hazel. These are new words. Transness, being trans, being cis. These are new words. But I promise you, we are not trying to insult you. We are not trying to make an enemy out of you. And we are not trying to take anything from you. Um, we're just trying to build a world in which we are allowed to exist. That's why we're trying to make these words in everyone's vocabulary. Because as it stands, trans people in a lot of places are not allowed to exist. The reason you're hearing so much about us is because we're making progress in trying to carve out a safe 
world for ourselves. Does that make sense? We're not trying to like insult you in the process of doing it. Sure. Are there some trans people out there that might like say something different? It's possible. But, oh, hi, mom. My mother's here. I love you too, mom. Um, we're just trying to carve out a safe world for ourselves. We're not trying to take anything from you. I promise. I respect you, Hazel Eyes. You have the, my respect. I hope that you believe that because I do respect you. And I want make, to make sure that you know when I say that you are a cisgender person, that it is not an insult, insult and only a statement of fact. That's it. Hi, mother. My mom is here. Thank you, Ana Libre. Thank you, Hayes. So that's it. That's my impassioned plea. Let's take a look at the line for the cafe. Okay, so let's let's talk, Kelly. In order to be a woman, you have to have a potential to grow a baby. Okay. What about infertile women? What about women in menopause? What do you say to that? Because neither of those, and, by, and I mean cis women specifically, Kelly says, okay, neither, neither of those groups are able to have children. No, neither of those, right? And is the only thing that you define and say to yourself, hey, there are a lot of women who can't have babies that are still women. Cis and trans. I don't hear that. All right, the cafe is in a way better spot here. Connection is bad? I don't know. How about now? Still lagging? Are we, are we good now? Better? Can you all hear that? Okay. What I was saying, Kelly, is if the only thing that makes a woman a woman to you Alright, we're gonna leave until this sound stops. Jesus. If the only thing that makes a woman a woman to you is the potential to have children and not the myriad of other things that makes a woman a woman, there is only so much that I can do for you. That is something that I would say you should reflect on um, because there is so much more to being a woman than having a child, than having a child. So much more. Um, a lot of women, cis women, are born without the potential to have children. People who have, um, you know, are born without ovaries or dysfunctioning ovaries or their uterus is non-functional right? There's a lot of cis women out there who have never had the potential to have a baby. Um, they're still women. Yeah. There you go, Moonchild. Bye, Debbie. Can both cis and trans women not just be women? Well, we both, both cis and trans women are women. It's true. I am a trans woman and there are cis women. We have differences, but we're both still women. It's like the umbrella is woman and then there's cis and there's trans. Both, all good. Yeah, also the ones that don't want to have a child. Um, so as Liz very wisely pointed out, it sounds like there's a rabid dog in this Ikea right now. I don't know what it is but it is still happening. I can still hear it. I know you can't anymore. 
Uh, I struggle with if you can't define woman, then how can anyone be one? Well, how? Do... That's a very non-binary thing to say. <laughs> well, that's. I mean, that's that's up to you. Uh, becoming me. I mean, are you a woman? And if so, what makes you a woman in your eyes, right? Respectful question. Can you just say I'm a woman instead of I'm a trans woman? I am both. It's like saying, uh, it's a good example for this. It's like, it's like the difference between saying potatoes and mashed potatoes, right? Like, it's an extra adjective on top of it. I am a woman, yes. I am also a trans woman. Thank you, I'm a cis woman. Oh, hold on. Struggles to get pregnant. I've been trying for eight years, only have one child. I'm sorry, Stina Marie, sorry. Chris has a question, yep. Hi, Jamie. I love you always, forever near and far. Thank you, Jacqueline. Um, okay. I'm glad, AJ. A cis woman with a lot of masculine energy. Totally cool. Thank you, mom. Chris has got a question. I'm, I, I got you. I'm here. Lee now understands. Perfect. Not all women have wombs. It's true. Again, it goes back to the difference between your parts that you have and your gender. I, you know, it's the core disagreement I think that we're running into here, which is. Your biology doesn't determine your gender, right? Whether or not, if, if your uterus is fully functioning and able to make a child, maybe your uterus is infertile, or maybe you don't have a uterus at all. It doesn't matter which bucket you fall into, you're still a woman. I have no idea what song this is, Mackenzie. <laughs> no idea. Um, I don't know. Um, there are so many other factors to gender other than the body parts. Yeah, like how you walk, how you talk, how you dress, what kind of role you play in society, right? It's, there's a lot more to it than just a womb. It's a womb. There's a lot more to it. Um, yeah. So, anyways. I hope that helps those of you who are here and willing to have an open mind about things. I know we've, we've hopefully, hopefully helped a few people understand. Um, women are more than just baby makers. It's really just rooted in misogyny that a womb makes a woman. That is about as mis like clean cut misogyny as you can have. Um, Thank you, Timur. Thank you, Carrie. You have a question, but don't want to get muted, says Missy OG. Okay. Ask it in good faith, please. Now this is a bop right here. Baby. Nice, Lisa. Oh, I'm glad, Brooke. When I think of you, badly. Parts and gender for me make it. What do you mean, Edwina? Thank you, Dozer. What is my definition of a woman? Um, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but ultimately, you're a woman if you say you are. You can have a womb and be a man you can have the parts that I have and be a woman. It ultimately comes down to what you say you are, period. Just from Manchester, hi, hello. Going live from an Ikea room, yeah, I know. <laughs> We would be in the cafe if it weren't for the loud noise in there. Where are we eating today? We're figuring it out. Thank you to all my mods for being so awesome today. 
Well, uh, all right, Tanya. Tanya, before we get into this, because we tried to get into it with someone else. Are you asking this question in good faith? Do you, are you, you willing to hear what I have to say or are you just telling me? Because I'm willing to have the conversation, but I need to hear it from you that you are here with an open mind. That's what I, thank you, mama. How to deal with hair loss after transitioning? Are you female to male? That I have no experience in. Tanya asked why she, why am I not allowed to not want to be called cis? I agree. I love and support all. Born a female, do not like being told I'm cis. Okay. All right, Tanya. And uh, whoever that other person was, I missed the name. So, when we're born, we are assigned a gender. We know that generally, people who have a certain set of parts are boys, and people who have a certain set of parts are girls. Usually. Usually. It's a best guess. Most of the time, that's the case. But that's not always true. Sometimes people have the parts that I do, and they're not a boy, they're a girl. Because gender and the lump of cells that is on the lower half of your body are not connected. So we're given a gender, we're assigned a gender. I was assigned male but I'm not male. They got it wrong. Someone said, here comes the shoe metaphor. It's true. It's like wearing a pair of shoes that you don't fit into. You need a new pair of shoes. You transition from one pair of shoes to another. Now, if you didn't need to transition, if the gender you were assigned at birth was the one that you actually are, then you're good. That means you are cis gender. There is no value judgment on either. It's not that trans is good and cis is bad, or cis is good and trans is bad. There, it's like left and right-handed. You're one or the other. One is not better than the other. They are simply statements of fact. Okay? That's, that's what it is. So if you're not okay with being called cisgender, it means that you don't like the fact that being trans is now normal. It's like saying, don't call me straight because that implies that gay people are valid, right? People used to be upset when you called them straight because it implied that it's okay to be gay because otherwise you just say I'm normal and that gay people aren't normal, right? Or that I'm, you know, I, I identify with the gender I was assigned at birth and anyone who doesn't isn't normal, right? So it's just to say that if you're offended by the word cis, know this, we are not, we are not at any, in any way, shape or form insulting you. We are just trying to carve out a safe world to live in. That's it. We're trying to give the world a vocabulary to understand how and why we exist. We're not trying to take anything from you. We're not trying to insult you. We're simply trying to carve out a safe world for ourselves to exist in. That's it. Okay. I hope that y'all that y'all heard. And maybe look if I could. Well, why, how do you, why, why is it that you think I'm dissolving womanhood? Do you mean babies? Because womanhood is something that you don't lose when you incorporate the existence of trans people, right? There's nothing about me being a trans woman that takes your femininity away, right? Unless, right? Is what, what am I doing that's taking your womanhood away, right? Is there a way? Is there something I'm doing? Because not you personally, okay, but words related to womanhood are being removed. What words? What words? What words specifically? Because I'm not aware of any words being taken away. Like mother, there are many mothers. Trans people are not against the word mother. 
and blank feeding. Well, you can still use those words. The only reason that you we're talking about, so, so think about it this way. What about a trans man? Someone who is a man who has a womb and gives birth to a child. That's not a woman, right? They're having a kid. They're not a mother, they're a father. So what, but there, it's not, by, by making the default more gender neutral, it's not taking the word mother away from you. We're not saying you're not allowed to say that. We're just making it more inclusive for everyone who can give birth. There's some hospitals that are moving terms like women's health. Well, that's probably the right, well, no, it's not probably, it is the right thing to do. Because like I said, many people who have a womb are not women. That's it. So you're still a woman going to receive this health. For you, it's women's health. But for a trans man, it's not women's health. It's just health. So again, because we're changing the default term, it doesn't remove it from you. It simply makes it better for others. It makes it more inclusive for everybody. We're not trying to change anything about what you're doing. We're just trying to make it more inclusive. That's it. Welcome, Tiff. We haven't even eaten yet. Um, we are going to get food. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry, but I'm like in the zone right now. So um, I see a couple good questions here. Um, since women are free to be cis regardless of trans. Yeah, yeah. Like we're not, we're not taking anything away from you. Well, I appreciate it. And look, becoming me, I hope, I hope if you take anything away from what I'm saying here, know that we're not trying to take anything away from you. We're only trying to make a safer world for ourselves. Thank you, Tiff. Um, I think someone also wanted to know what non-binary meant. I will explain that as well. So like I said, when we're born, we are assigned a gender based on our body parts. Usually they get it right. Usually someone who has my parts is a boy, but not always. What if someone who was assigned, say, male at birth isn't a man, but also isn't a woman? What if they're somewhere in between? Or, you know, maybe they're neither. Maybe they don't like the idea of gender. Or what if there's something else entirely, right? That's what a non-binary person is. They're still trans. They still experience gender dysphoria, but they're just not on the gender binary. They don't go from man to woman or woman to man, like I do, or I did. That's what non-binary is. It's just another flavor of trans person. Um, usually they get it right. Who is they? They is a pronoun. Just like she is a pronoun or he is a pronoun. Thank you, Shannon. Um, good. This is you, USR. I'm so happy to hear that your boyfriend changed their perspective. Um, sorry, I'm looking for well-worded questions here. Shouldn't they wait till they're 18? Absolutely not. If you know, you know. Uh, why can't we have women's health, men's health, and health as you explained it? So if there is a doctor that is going to be seeing a variety of different patients, um, we'll say that they're a OBGYN, so they're going to be caring for people that have wombs. In order to be the most inclusive to all of their patients, both women and men and non-binary people, it would be best not to use any specific words like women or men, just health, reproductive health. Um, because women's health excludes trans men, just like, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Hi, thank you, Michelle. Uh, do I get misgendered on the phone? All the time. I get served on the phone all the time. Um, hi, Kelly. Uh, wait, what is it? Because cis and trans have different definitions. Yeah, they're just Latin prefixes. They've been around for a while. The word cis or the prefix cis is used in chemistry a lot um, as a Latin prefix. Um, 
But when you fill out new patient paperwork, you choose your pronoun. Yeah, but so, okay, Abby, I think I see what you're saying. So let's say a trans man, so someone who's assigned female at birth, but is actually a man, trans man, shows up at an OBGYN. There's a form they fill out and it says, select your pronoun, he, he him, she, she, her, or they, them. This is a trans man who's going to circle he, him. Okay, but that's a little bit more inclusive, but the most inclusive thing to do would be to not call this a women's health clinic, right? Just like I don't want to walk into a men's health clinic. I would rather just go to a clinic, right? Because I'm not a man. My parts are the way they are. Sure, I don't deny that. But again, like I've said, parts are different and gender. We separate those two things, parts and gender. That is the biggest concept we're getting at here that is new. I get it's new, but if you, if you can come to terms with the fact that gender and the parts that you have when you're born are different, we're smooth sailing from there. Thank you, Bree. You too. More than one. Thank you, Mandy. Uh, my mods are awesome. I love my mods. Um... So take away what woman worked so hard to get. So what am I taking away from you, Tara? You say I'm taking something away. What am I taking away? I want to, I, I, cause from my and every other trans woman's perspective, it's less that we're trying to take it from you and more that we're joining your team, <laughs> right? We're here as well. It's not instead of, it is in addition to, right? So what are, so what are we taking? Taking away the patriarchy. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Thank you, Eli. Taking away sports championships and women, well, women's clinics or clinics for people that have that set of parts still very much exist. And also sports have by and large figured out integration of trans people a lot of people have handed it poor handled it poorly and get very offended but that's pretty much figured out at this point um i think a lot of people take issue with the fact that within the rules of hormone levels and all that stuff if a trans woman wins that she did it unfairly right but the rules are set right they've accounted for any differences it's all taken care of um, Tara says, the fact we push to get seen and get, quote unquote, women to be treated equally, y'all have rights because of us. Okay. So you're saying that because you fought for women's rights and now we're also benefiting from that, that you have less rights? Or is it that you're sharing the freedom you fought for with more people? Is that what you're saying? Because if that's the case, in, in what you're saying, fine, my mom, there's, no, there's nothing that's being taken from you. You're just applying the rights you fought for to more people, right? Trans men, hold on. Bye, mama. I'm happy just being accepted for who I am. I'm tired of trans influence. Well, you are accepted for who you are, Dominique. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. How does? I'm. I'm I, I need you to rephrase. I need you to rephrase. Not less women's right, but we like to be called women, not cis women. You all should have your own category. Well, trans women are trans women, and cis. What, what is your definition of cis, Tara? You t tell me, what is your definition? Like, I feel like it's a, there's a core disagreement there about what the word cis means, because I know what it means, but I need you to tell me what it means to you first. Um, I don't understand what the issue here is being called cis. It's scientifically, that's, that's what I would argue, but um, I need to know what What's a cis? It's not a cis. It's just cis is a Latin prefix. From what I've been told, it's to take the word women out and make it equal. 
So Tara, I want to tell you, that's not how I or any other trans person define the word, okay? Cis is a Latin prefix. It's been around for thousands of years, Latin. It's used in chemistry a lot. A lot of science uses the word cis or the prefix cis. It means on the same side of, okay? Like, like if you're right next to me on the same side of the building, cis. So because I was assigned male at birth and I went to a different gender, which was female, I transitioned one side to another, trans, like transatlantic light, versus cis, which means you stuck with the gender you were assigned at birth. The one you were assigned is the one you are. They got it right. So there's no like, oh, that's a bad thing. We're not trying to take anything away from you. It's just defining your relationship to the gender you were assigned at birth. Yeah, C-I-S, Ali, C-I-S. There's no like, oh, it's good to do it this way and bad to do it this way. If they got your gender right on day one, that makes you cisgender. If they got it wrong, that makes you transgender. That's it. That's all it is. Hi, Slay Mama. Girly pop. Your 11-year-old gave me that lingo. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So, yeah. And, and I think the core disagreement, which is... It's a very... You know, the core thing is like, do you agree that your gender is assigned at birth? It is. Um, but that's the thing that really causes the... Is there a platform where I can have conversations with people on these topics without texting? Oh, um... Like, talk to me? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I will try and read all your comments, though. Um, the validating adjective. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, Annie. Yeah, so why don't they put cis on birth certificates? Well, a babe, why don't they put cis at birth on birth certificates? Let me answer that, Camilla. Because a baby can't tell you what gender they are. They can't talk. They don't understand English yet. You can only know what gender a baby is once they're old enough to tell you themselves. Um, so they're not going to put like, here is baby Jamie, he, him, cis male. Jamie can only tell you once Jamie grows up. And it's at that point, And that, that, that's what a birth certificate is. It's at birth. You know? We stand Jamie. Maybe Jan is, ja Jamie's a trans woman, or maybe Jamie's non-binary. Um, how do you feel about bringing up a child as non-binary from birth? I'm, I actually kind of like that idea, but less of like forcing gender neutrality on them and more of offering choices as they go along. Um, that's, that's what I would do if I had a kid, but um, I don't want kids. So doesn't that mean the doctor is wrong in labeling a child's blank? Um, no, it's not wrong because your parts are valid. Um, the, the, the thing is that there's, different, there's a difference between parts and gender, right? Um, yeah. Anyways, shout out to my mods who have heard me say these things a bajillion times. They are here keeping the peace and I appreciate it. So when I call them, I don't like that word, sis, when they ask you not to, I mean, Clara Lynn, so Clara, are you left or right-handed? Let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. Thank you, Ashlyn. Thank you, Fiona. My mods are on it. Um, Clara is left-handed, same. So the fact that you are left-handed is not anything that anyone can argue. You use your left hand, so do I. I write with my left hand. It used to be that you couldn't be left-handed. You were forced to use your right hand. It, for real though, they used to think that being left-handed was like legit demonic. And that's crazy, right? That's crazy. They literally like would force children to write with their right hand. They would train kids. And now we know that that's ridiculous and that using your left hand is just the thing you do. So it's the same thing with cis and trans. 
There is no bad or good thing about being right or left-handed. It's just the way you are. It's the same thing with cis and trans. You're one or the other. You can't have trans people without cis people, and you can't have cis people without trans people. They're opposites, right? Cis only exists because trans exists. So being asked to not be called cis is like saying, don't call me left-handed, I'm just handed, right? You're still left-handed. If you really want, I won't call you left-handed, but like, it doesn't change the fact that you're left-handed, right? Anyways, all right, let's go check and see on the cafe. It was lagging there. Do we want to like go somewhere else? <laughs> what do we think? Should we try the cafe one more time? So this is a liberal talking point. No one ever used the word five or six years ago. Wisco dude, I got news for you. And I say this, I want to say this with as much kindness and patience that I can. Cis, the word, is a Latin prefix that has existed for thousands of years. It is a word that is used across scientific disciplines, chemistry, physics, biology. Cis is a word that has existed and will continue to exist. Because Just because you're hearing about it more recently does not mean that it just was invented. It wasn't just like trans people. I was doing some research the other night. Trans people, the, the earliest documented trans people are in BCE, um, ancient Greece. There have been trans people documented throughout history from ancient Greece to like French Revolution, medieval times, like just look up the Wikipedia, they're out there. Um, we've been here. It's just now we finally kind of got some momentum to carve out a safe world for ourselves where we can be safe, right? Where we are accepted. And that's why you're hearing about us more because we're not hiding anymore. That's it. That's all it is. Um, it's nothing new. This is not a fad. fad. It's not a trend. We have been here. Look up a picture. Look, Google. Google image. French women from the 1950s. We, we out here. We've been here. There's a jazz singer named um, Billy Tipton or maybe Billy Porter. Billy something. 19, like 40s, 50s, 60s. Trans man. No one knew. No one knew. There is a tra documented transgender Confederate soldier. No, Confederate? I forget. Conf uh, Civil War era soldier. Trans man. We out here. Look it up. All right, um, what do we think, y'all? Should we try and eat at Ikea or should we like go to like an actual restaurant? I've enjoyed this, but what do we think? No, not Billie Holiday. Uh, sure, Becoming Me. I'm, I'm here for you. What, what, what's your question? All right, before, before, we, uh, before we leave, we got one more question from Becoming Me. Is becoming me has been been a very good sport, so I want to. Uh, music is annoying. Lulls. Let's bounce. Okay, we'll bounce as soon as we answer. Um, holy movie star. Yeah, Eddie Redmayne. Yeah, totally. I wish they had gotten a trans woman to play that role, but what can you do? IKEA has food. I don't know. We've had fun at IKEA though. So Billy. No, not Billy Port. Not Billy Porter. No, Billy something. Just Google Billy, old-timey jazz singer, trans man. That's it. Uh, did Becoming Me say, give their, their, their question? I was, I was waiting on that before. So many talented trans women, right? Kari Neff, she was in the Barbie movie. All right. Becoming Me, I am assuming that either you're getting filtered or... Billy Tipton, is that, is that, yeah, Billy Tipton sounds right. Yeah, Billy Tipton is a trans man, like old timey jazz singer. I read it about, oh, okay, hold on, bad reception here. I read about Billy Tipton, apparently no one knew he was a trans man. And he lived as a trans man for his entire life. And when he passed, they did the autopsy and they were like, what? 
And even apparently his kids didn't know. I don't know how that happened, but his kids didn't know. And it was like a whole thing. Um, yeah, I think you're getting filtered. Can you ask it in a different way, Becoming Me? Yeah, look, look him up. It's an interesting story. I'm surprised there's not a movie about it, honestly. Um, exactly, Molly. Exactly. Feminism isn't about male versus female. And look, I... Um, I'll, I'll confess, like, when I was in college, before I knew I was trans, um, I was at a very uh, liberal school, and I thought I was, like, the cool, moderate person who was, like, pushing back on the wokeness. I was woke, but not that woke, because I wasn't willing to accept, number one, myself, but number two, the fact that trans people are valid, right? It was really like an internal struggle that unfortunately, you know, I took like a women's health class and, and I'm not proud of it, but like, all I'm saying is I understand the narrative that we hear when we're little. I grew up in the South. Um, why do some have surgery? Uh, for some trans people becoming me, surgery is gender affirming, right? So I got my cake pops removed. That was affirming for me. Not all trans people get any kind of surgery. Her question is, if parts don't make gender, then why do some have surgery? It depends, right? If you have bottom dysphoria, which is a way you can have dysphoria, gender dysphoria, uh, sometimes you do feel gender euphoria when you have that surgery. Sometimes you don't. It depends. It depends. You get into the, the weeds of what is gender, right? And what is gender to certain people. It just depends. LaDon, Lillian, you're good. We can see you. It just depends, right? Like, would I feel, the question is, right, like, if I were to get bottom surgery, would I feel gender euphoria if I got bottom surgery? I would certainly feel gender euphoria if I snapped my fingers and it went from one to the other. But it's also a pretty big undertaking. And I feel a lot of gender euphoria in other ways in my life. So who knows? Who knows? I hope that I hope that was helpful. I know it's not like exactly what's gender to you. Gender is a lot of things. Gender is how you fit into the world, right? It's the paradigm through which you interact with people. It's how you walk, it's how you talk, it's how you dress, it's how you act, it's what jobs you're more likely to have. It's the way that you interact with people. It's what kind of friends you make, right? It's the way that you socialize. There's so many different things. It's a lot more than having a womb. And also gender is different for different people. You go back to like why surgery. Gender is different for different people. Um, there's a lot of masculine presenting women and a lot of feminine presenting men. That doesn't change the fact that they're men and women, right? Because if you identify as a man, but you like to wear a dress, you're still a man. And if you identify as a woman, but like to wear flannel shirts and, you know, big baggy jeans, you're still a woman. Oh, thank you, Mandy. What is your stance on what bathroom people should use? Oh boy, we're getting into it. Um, I use a women's bathroom, period. All right. Let's, let's go. Is it time for meatballs yet? Did we want to do that? Time to go subs only? No, it's okay. I'm okay. Let's eat. I agree. Thank you, Pookie. I appreciate that. I hope that that was helpful for some people. So craving in the oh sorry, margarita pizza. I feel that. Oh, 
Thank you. You're starving? Okay, we'll eat. We'll eat. Am I on hormones? Yes, I am on hormones. Thank you, Sydney. I'm glad becoming me. I, uh, look, the reason I do this is to, is to have these conversations, right? Like, to make the world a better place, a safer place for trans people. It's what I do. And, like, having one-on-one -on -one conversations like this, even though it's not really one-on-one, -on -one, one -on -one, um, it's important. It's important. So, all right. Where should we eat? I'm like so hyped up from all these conversations, honestly. Were we eating? Um, please explain why you're uncomfortable in the men's bathroom. Uh, because I am not a man. That's really, it's, it's really not much more complicated than that. Um, I am not a man and therefore I do not use the men's bathroom. I'm a woman, therefore I use the women's bathroom. I do not do anything other than pee and poo while I'm there. Uh, it's not really, there's no, there's a, there's a narrative that is, that says we do other things in the bathroom other than pee and poo. Uh, we pee, poo, and wash our hands. That's really all it is. Um, there's no like hidden agenda. We are, I am a woman. I use the women's bathroom. Now I will also say trans men using the men's bathroom. Why would trans men use the men's bathroom? Right? That kind of seems weird because why would, unless it really, unless, the, unless it was gender affirming for them, which you're arguing it's not, it's, it's gross. <laughs> men's bathroom is gross. They, they are choosing to use the men's bathroom over the women's bathroom. Why would they do that? It's because using the men's bathroom is affirming for them. So they use it. That's why. They choose a nastier bathroom. They choose a nasty bathroom because it's affirming for them. They have to use it. There's no, no, Nancy, not at all. I mean, I am legally female, so I guess, you know, <laughs> probably wouldn't be a good move for me to use the men's bathroom because I am legally female. But it's also like, there's a whole lot of fear that we're doing something else other than peeing while we're in there. It's not true. We're not. We're just peeing and pooping and washing our hands. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Ashley. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Ariana. Is it the same for locker rooms or just bathrooms? That is, that is actually uh, an interesting point. I mean, yes, it is the same, but certainly I am not sure if I would feel comfortable in a women's locker room. I think, I mean, I certainly wouldn't feel comfortable in a men's locker room, but also I'm a trans man, but I just don't feel safe in the men's, but I wish I could. I'm so sorry, Alex. I wish you could too. I wish you could too. I certainly get scared when I'm in the women's bathroom because I feel like everyone's eyes is on me. Like, what's she going to do? The answer? He. That's the answer. I'm going to pee. I'm going to pee. Period. Her state. Yeah, no, it's all, I'm, I'm legally female. Everything says female. So, you know, if you're checking birth certificates at the bathroom door, you, you would see female. <laughs> bathroom is a bathroom. Who, who cares what the sign on the door is? Yeah, I mean, it's not like I don't, I don't want to erase that, but like I use the women's bathroom because I'm a woman. That's really all it is. Um, if you can't accept that, then we need to go back to the fact that gender is assigned at birth. That's really the core, the core issue that I think people are unable to understand. Yeah, the bathroom is private. I, I do not have bottom surgery. I'm not sure if I will. The more I talk about it, the more maybe I will. I don't know. I, it changes day to day. But I'm not, like, working towards that at the moment. Um, I had my cake pops removed, which was great. I'm glad I did that. Whew, that was a big one. But um, why would I not use a woman's locker room? Less, less because it's affirming to me and more that I, I, I just know that a lot of, lot of eyes would be on me. 
I wouldn't feel safe. I wouldn't feel safe. I would only use the women's locker room to change if I needed to change. Um, but I know that I wouldn't be safe. Just like uh, that the, Alex, the trans man, said that he wouldn't feel safe. Yeah, everything says female stuff. I am legally female. Legally. Legally female. Hi, Joanna. So, anyways. I hope for some people who cleared that up. I know probably didn't, but um, that's what it is. Let me see. What are cake pops? I bet you can figure that out. Oh, okay. You already bought it? How long have I been on estrogen? Uh, two and a half years. You made ice cream today. That's nice. What kind of ice cream? Thank you, Kayla. Uh, I'm thinking a diner. How do we feel about a diner? How old when I started HRT? I started HRT at 20, was I 28? No, I started on May 4th. It was on May the 4th, because I remember it was the Star Wars day, 2021. So two years and some change. As long as there will be dessert, there should be. I sure hope there is. <laughs> Uh, no, Leigh, I can't. You gotta re write it some other way. You're probably getting muted. Thank you, Thrift Nificent. How are they doing? How's how's who doing? How do I feel on estrogen? Fantastic. It's like a missing piece. It's like a thing that I wish I'd had my entire life, but it's kind of completed me. In the same way, an antidepressant can do the same thing. What is this? Oh, private event. Oh, right. Forgot. There's a big Salesforce conference happening right now. If I had top surgery, no, these are all natural. Thankfully. It's, got, it's, doing, it's, doing, it's doing what I want it to do, for sure. Do I do any advocacy or motivational speaking? I don't do, I mean, advocacy, or I'm doing advocacy right now, but um, I don't motivationally speak, but I do like give talks. It's like not motivational speaking. I don't really like motivational speaking. My hubs works for, is he here? There's like so many people here right now from Salesforce. Thank you, Sydney. Yeah, no, I, I, I speak to like companies and stuff. My day's going well, thank you. I am, um, I'm definitely not bisexual. I would say that I am sapphic. So lesbian is pretty close. Um, I'm interested in feminine presenting people. That can be women, it can also be non-binary people. Thank you, silly. Uh, about being vegan? Um, you can ask, I'm not vegan. Uh, I think you can really. But you know, if that's your question, I am not vegan. Ah, uh, it's too busy. Uh, it's a little bit too busy here. It's okay. We'll just keep walking. Do I go to any... Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the restroom. I will pause. You don't worry. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. All right. Here I back. Pause. How's the noise level? How's the noise level? Oh, thank you, Joanna. It's loud. We should probably go somewhere else, right? Too loud? Yeah, it's too loud. That's okay. It's loud for me, too. We'll go somewhere else. 
No worries. I'm not like starving. We'll go somewhere else. Anyways, I feel like we probably lost a lot of trolls, so that's a good thing. Glad. Thank you. Thank you, Princess Soul. Any fun food trucks? I don't know. It's okay. We'll get there. I'm not like, uh, yes, Alex, you may ask. I'm not like, we're not going to do one of those, oh my God, where are we eating today streams. That's not going to happen. We're having a great conversation. I know where we can get food eventually, that we will just get food if we know we end up there. So it's all good. Um, thank you, Timur. Yeah, we're finding somewhere. It's just right now we're in the middle of a Salesforce conference. So, you know, anywhere that serves food is going to be packed. Uh, but we'll just keep walking until we get out of range of the conference, and there we go. My horoscope sign is Aquarius. Fit check. Jeans, Ted's belt, shirt, bag. That's it. Do I go to the gym? Yes. Where did I get the shirt? Cider. Keep them coming. Keep the questions coming. Oh my, today, I'm doing well today. I'm having a good day. I'm enjoying this conversation and this stream. I think it's a good one. I think it's a good stream. Is she checking in? Checking in what? Earrings? Thank you. Uh, I think these are just Amazon. Who got them? Emma? Trisemitops. Where is Trisemitops? I haven't seen her in a long time. All right. That's going to be packed. Is this over here? This could be fun. I don't know if I've really done much over here. There's a lot of places to sit. Is it a restaurant? Is it a Salesforce thing? We're going to find out. Oh, yeah. This must be a Salesforce thing, isn't it? Tacos, maybe? Yeah, we could do tacos. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely like a Salesforce event. Salesforce is like a, what are they? They're like a, it's like a company that is headquartered in San Francisco. They're a very big company. And um, they're having like a big conference right now. So anywhere within the radius of the conference is going to be totally packed, including uh, they've taken over a whole field over there that is uh, exclusively for Salesforce. So it's all good. How was Nugget after yesterday's food? He was, was good. He was fine. Best place for tacos? Probably the mission, which we are not super close to. I don't know if you have kava. We do not have kava. I've been to kava. Uh, I used to work in Washington, D.C. Believe it or not, I used to travel to Washington, D.C. for work all the time. Um, oh, thank you, sir. Uh, Gonzalez. Thank you. Um, so I've had coffee, but Bay Area in the house, hello. Yeah, we're walking to a restaurant. There's plenty of restaurants, and, like, I have an end restaurant that I know will be fine. So we're not, like, desperate for a restaurant like we have been in the past. North Bay, cool, hello. Hello from London. What did I do for work? I was a fundraiser, so I'd walk around and ask people for money. She says, thinking, pensively. Uh, hi from London. Hello. Thank you, Sammy. Desperate to watch meat? Oh, wow. Well, I'll do my best to find food soon. Uh, we'll get there. We just kind of got to get out of range. Oh, thank you. Did y'all hear that? Some guy with like a Danish accent. I follow you on TikTok. You're awesome. Hi, Lindsay. Thank you, Emmy. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you. Y'all are sweet. Hello from Buffalo. Hi. Hello from Kentucky. Hi. Hi, Mama Sewell from Texas. Ikea's coming to SF. Yeah, I've heard that too. Wish I could meet you. Hey, you see me on the street, say hi. No, we have not eat, eaten yet. We're just walking a little bit further to get away from the Salesforce conference. And then, yeah, but I'm enjoying the conversation until we get to food. I remember the first time you got recognized. Was that, was that on stream at, at that pizza place? I think that was it because the Cheesecake Factory thing had just happened. 
And I was like, wait, you recognize me from the internet? What? Oh, I'm glad, Allison. What's in my purse? I bet you could guess. Nothing too crazy. I have a battery, I have a microphone pack. It was on stream like the day after Cheesecake. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. I'm basically a foodie. I would say that I'm a, I would identify as a foodie. I would say so. Hello from Norway. Hi. Do I use all social platforms? Um, no, I, I use Insta and um, I'm on LinkedIn. Sometimes. I don't really use it much anymore. Daily dose of living. Hi, Angelina. What are we eating now? I'm not sure. We're, we're just walking until we get away from the conference. Uh, we're, we're, we'll get there. I know where we are, though. I, I, are my piercings real? Yeah. My piercings are very real. I got them myself. I got them myself. I don't make any sense. I got them. I did not do them myself. Someone else did. Fozzie's kitchen. Where is that? My 10, you have 10 dogs? Well, I guess your username is crazy mom to 10 dogs. Checks out. How is it possible I just found you? I don't know, Irene, but hi. Hello. Did the septum hurt? The septum hurt, but honestly, the nostrils hurt more than the septum. <sighs> I don't want this space. So pleasant. Oh, thank you, Erica. Love the earrings. Thank you. Yeah. Just to, just to make sure everyone knows. <laughs> just in case it wasn't obvious how gay I am. Just so you know. How about this place? That's what I think it is. Thank you, Sabrina. Any tattoos? Yes. Tattoo. I have a trans heart and a uh, lesbian flag. Is there table service here? I don't think so. No, there's not. Thank you. No, this is my full-time thing. I have a Patreon. I make videos. I do speaking things. I'm like a professional transgender person. What's this? Am I a lesbian? Yeah, I would say that's almost correct. I'm also, that, I, do, I only say that just because I don't want to exclude non-binary people because feminine non-binary people, all good, very good. I want to go to SF, I haven't been in three years. No, we didn't already eat, we're, we're, going, we're headed towards food. You're not. Do I try a new place every day? I try, but we do repeat sometimes. Like last night, American Bites, technically, even though I didn't mention it on the stream, we had done it before. It just, it'd been a while. Thank you, Mama of Girls 04. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, what you said, it, STH. I did not see it. Oh, I wonder if they have some room. Go check in there. Let's see, I'm wanting to go there. It's usually very loud and busy. Heard that there was a trans community living space. I have not heard of that. Am I dating someone? Yes. But I'm polyamorous, so like, it's not the only, not uh, exclusive to anyone. Let's see how loud it is in here. Usually they play pretty loud music, so we'll check and see. Yeah, it's too loud. I don't really feel like being that person today. <laughs> the vibe's got to be right. We're headed to our ultimate destination, which will inevitably have food that we will eat. But we're checking places along the way, so don't worry. It's my outfit today. This. Have I ever been interested in men? No. No offense. Although, you know what? There was... And earlier on in my transition, before I started streaming, I did go on a date or two with a trans masculine person, but he was early in his transition. So like, 
I was very careful to be gender affirming to him, but like also I could see that he was headed towards a critical mask that I would, you know, so. Oh, thank you. An early transition, did you keep to yourself or seek community? I saw community to a certain extent. Um, there was a, uh, um, I was a part of this like program. It was like a cohort that helped early stage transition people like figure things out. And I had a mentor, um, which was very helpful. But I really didn't start making like actual trans friends until like a year plus in, which was something I wish I'd done sooner because having trans friends is like the most important thing. Like really. How close are we to the rest? We're getting there. Don't worry. I, I'm not going to say where we are, but I, I got it under control, I promise. How would you gauge your overall happiness after transition? It's like dividing by zero. The limit does not exist. I went from a zero to an infinitely better place. Um, one thing I will say is a lot of people think if you transition, if you're a trans person and you transition, you will then be happy. Sorry, one sec. It might be true, but the more accurate way of saying it is if you're trans and you transition, you have the possibility to be happy. Does that make sense, right? Like, it can't, it's impossible without transitioning. It's only possible once you transition. Am I still in New York? No, no, no. Do I like all, I only like feminine presenting people, Cassie. So people who are more feminine in their presentation. I've opened doors. Am I happy now? Yes, I am. Certainly, things are a lot harder in some ways. The world is very determined to be mean to trans people, but I, uh, I am trying to meet all of the, the hate with kindness uh, because yes, I am happy. I wasn't happy before and now I am. It's pretty great. Thank you, Kayla. Am I Canadian? No, I'm American. How was New York? It was good. Fair question, no hate. Okay, Salujo, I'm ready. Mandy, stop. You are wonderful. You know you're wonderful. We will not have negative Mandy self-talk here. No, ma'am. Ma'am? What are you running on the head? She thought she heard, but maybe wrong. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Hmm. No hate. Interesting. <laughs> am I taking hormones? Yes, I am. I am very happily on estrogen. Very happily. She, they. Okay, so do you like, I guess that ma ma'am applies then, she, they. Can we see the fit? Yes, this is the fit. How's the weather in San Francisco? Yeah, 60s, like high 60s today. It's wonderful. Am I happy with my life? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, it's way better than before I transitioned. <laughs> way better. Do I like to straighten my <laughs> The nail makes it to I don't straighten my hair usually. I have, but I don't. Do I get hate in public? Um, not really. Mostly on the internet. Thank you, Veronica. Do I have Nugget? No, he's at home. 67, I'm on the Bay Bridge. Yep. Sounds about right. Alright, so here is the Salesforce conference. We are walking by the main Pub. So if we keep going, we will get to a non Salesforce area. Dang, these people love their CRMs. Headed back to the city for Vietnamese food. Cool. Wonder how people get naturally curly hair. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. People can be mean. It's true. But ultimately, you got to look at the mean comments. And this is, again, something I'm trying to do. Um, not always successful, but even the worst of the worst comments, which you can see on my Facebook. It's the worst there. Um, the worst of the worst you have to look at and say, 
I wish you well to the person that's saying that because it's the only way to be able to do what I do long term, right? You can't meet hate with more with anger if you don't want to eventually get to it's like the dark side, literally. It's like the, the dark side. You go to the dark side and it consumes you. You know what I'm saying? Flip to the collar, it's a microphone. Yeah, 100% Prussian. Where are we headed? We're walking to a restaurant. I got a couple in mind. You experience period symptoms like some transgender women who take estrogen. I do not, but I know people who do. Who once a month will get like phantom period pains. I know several women, trans women who do. I don't. That's Harley. How do I say your name? S T H Harley? Harley. I'll say Harley. Hi, Lil Trey. Lil Trey? Lily Trey? Trey Trey, excuse me. I don't know why I just read my own name there. Yeah, thank you, Sammy. It's June, I'm in LA, I'm in SF. Close. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you, JS. Harley. I, I figured it was Harley. Um, so there is no such thing as completing your transition, Jersey Ghost. Um, completing your transition is kind of a misnomer to begin with. Uh, we're all transitioning, everyone. Whether or not you're trans, we're all changing, right? Okay, I'm back. Can you all hear me? I think we just went through a bad area. Um, someone, someone asked if I'm going to complete my transition, but my answer to that is there is really no such thing as completing your transition. I know what you mean by it, but completing your transition suggests that there's like a start and a finish. When in reality, everyone in the world is always changing and improving and be trying to become them be their better self to varying degrees of success. So no, there's no completing your transition. Um, you just are transitioning. I see transitioning as a lifelong process. Um, not just about gender, but about everything I do. Come to Oakland. I, yeah, I mean, the person I'm dating lives in Oakland, so maybe. The outfit of the day is this. Boom. Yeah, so I know what you mean by complete, by, you mean bottom surgery, but that is the incorrect way to call bottom surgery. Not every trans person has bottom surgery. So, by, you know, by your definition of completing the transition, it suggests that people who don't have bottom surgery are incomplete, which they are not. They are complete. We're all transitioning all the time. Monroe Bergdorf spoke transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I want bottom surgery? I don't know. Not every trans person wants bottom surgery. Exactly. I'm not sure if I do. Technically, I kind of had some when I got my cake pops removed, but... Would you be down for a bad movie party? Yeah, of course. Of course. Am I polyamorous? Yes, I am. I started my transition in 2020. Of course, Jersey Ghost. Here to help. Hello, how are you doing, as Vlad's mom? I'm good. I'm having a nice day today, actually. And we're about to come on another cluster of restaurants. So. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Oh, no, I already answered that. Hi. Does removing the cake pops, pops help with hormones? Yes, because cake pops produce testosterone, and I don't like testosterone. Have I seen a talking cat? Oh, my God, I think... Hi, thank you. There is a stranger who touched my shoulder. I did not need that, but it was well-intentioned. Did y'all hear that? Uh, I'm pro bad movie party, yeah, for sure. Go to water bar or epic steak? Yeah, I'm. Uh, we're, we're we're considering now. We're considering. That caught me out guard too. She was like, she said, "Love you," and then she touched my shoulder. Everything was cool until she touched my shoulder, but it's okay. It's okay. I looked startled. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I looked startled because I don't particularly like my shoulders being touched. 
My Nana always told me to be who I want to be. Sure. Or, or maybe even just be who you are. Right? What isn't, well, not everyone likes to be touched, period, on the shoulder or otherwise. Did I eat yet? No, we're figuring something else out. We're, we're going somewhere, don't worry. Special, yeah, screen. I mean, it was well-intentioned, it's fine. She knew me from TikTok. She was excited to see me, it's all good. I appreciate that, huh? Hello from the UK, hi. Alrighty. Let's see how this place is looking. Any advice for someone trying to apply slash start college? Oh boy. Um, do you know what you're doing in college yet? Like, do you know what your major is? It took me too long to figure mine out. I'm glad I did what I did, but like, I was lucky. Know what you want to do before you go. That'd be my advice. Hi, are you open? You're open though. Cool. Talk, I feel like I've seen it. Was it a How Did This Get Made movie? I feel like I've seen that. Thank you, everybody. All right, we're going to try this place again. My major was nutrition, and it was that's cool. Hello. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Time is it? Only the bar is open. Okay, so no food. Uh, okay. Can I exit this way? Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you. There. All right. They actually are not open. He told me they were open, but not for drinks or for only for drinks. And number one, I don't drink. And number two, I haven't eaten much today. So it's a David Dakota movie. Eric. Oh, is it the one that's like in a weird Hollywood mansion? And there's like a pool and there's like kids helping each other with homework. Is that, is that the one? That's definitely a, how did this get made movie, right? Kind of food am I craving? I'm not sure. Really, honestly, whatever food people are willing to serve me right now. Uh, again, I know the restaurant, like the absolute last resort restaurant, which is a good restaurant, but we're trying places on the way. What well, was fun? Oh my God, that was fun. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I have seen it. It's wild. That movie is wild. That movie is wild. Pursuing to get my master's in social working. Nice. You, that's great. That's awesome. The riff track for, maybe I did see it for riff tracks. I think they did it for how this game made. My mom is a social worker. She had an MSW, has an MSW. Um, and I think not only was that helpful in her career, it helped her raise me in a way that like taught me empathy. So yeah, definitely get your MSW for sure. Yeah, they were, uh, that was a place that was like, they said they were open and walked in, they said, just for drinks. So, there's another place. Maybe they're open, I don't know. We'll check and see. Pursuing my bachelor's in criminal justice, nice. My mom is a sweetie, I know. What was for lunch? We have not eaten yet. Uh, we're getting there though, we're getting there. This looks like it could be a thing, maybe. Maybe we'll ask and see. They might be closed for now. Possibly. Let's ask. Hi, are you open? Are you open? Uh, I believe so. I'm not sure if we're still serving though. So. Okay, I'll, I'll ask. Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you open? We are, I believe, open for drinks at the bar. But Only drinks? Is there any like limited food menu or? Unfortunately, not until we open for dinner at five. Got it. Thank you. 
getting my degree in counseling. Oh, nice, Catherine. I didn't know that. That's awesome. No one's serving food because it's 240, but again, I have a place. I know where we're, we're going to end up if all else fails. Why would these restaurants be closed? Usually, I would say it's normal to be closed at 240, but I would say now because of the Salesforce conference, Chafico is so far away from me, Riley. I can't go to Chafico. I've been to Chafico. It's great. Um, it's too far away. It's like seven for you. Yeah. No, they serve dinner. They're just reopening at five. That's that's all it is. Thank you, Shaylee. We're all good. We're all good. Pizza at your place. No, no, no. We're not going. We're not going home. We've got we've got options. Yeah. A lot of restaurants in the city will like serve food from 11.30 or so to like two. And then they'll reopen at five to start dinner service and they'll like prep and reset in between. Oh, hi Care Bears, hello. No, haven't missed the meal yet. We're going to get a meal right now. Ever tried Octavia? Sounds familiar, but I don't think so. Am I cooking at home? You know, me and Goose, me and Mr. Goose, so yesterday on stream, I spoke too soon. Because this morning, Christina, who's supposed to be our guest tomorrow on stream, rescheduled for next Friday. So I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, maybe we'll do cooking at home. If y'all want, I could cook at home. But, you know, we'll see. Thank you, Heidi. In Belgium... It's from 9 to 8 p.m. Yeah, it would be cool if that was what it was in San Francisco, but unfortunately it's not. Question, what do you want? I don't know. I kind of like eating out, but, you know, we'll try. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling tomorrow. It, it could really go either way. Cooking at home is just as expensive as eating out. It's true. It's honestly true, especially in this city. If we wanted to get fancy with it, I could, in theory, I could make something that would like s satisfy me without being as much as like a meal out. But you know, it it's expensive. And groceries are expensive. I'm in the mood for tacos. Okay, noted, noted. Whew. All right, all right. Here are the options. Wait, I'm just gonna decide myself. Just decide myself, how about that? Uh, do I like seafood? I like seafood, yeah. We don't even have a fa fast food place open after seven, really? Dang, thank you, Matthew. Yeah, that's wild. I'm about to eat, yes. Crawfish. I am getting my steps in. I love walking, so like I got I got no issues here. I got no issues. How do I want to eat? Huh. <laughs> What's speaking to me? Mm. I don't know if we've ever had this place. It's not table service, but I think that's okay. Should we just get something that isn't table service? I think we're fine with that. Is anyone upset about that? I think that's fine. Right? Get windy out here. I think that's fine. Right? Get windy out here. They're like a. Uh, uh, like quick, you order at the counter kind of thing. Uh, I'm a little bit too loud here. I froze. Am I unfrozen now? Still, still frozen. So glitchy, okay.
So I'm looking, I'm looking at a menu. Hold on. Should we do a burger or night no. All right, sorry about that. I, I, it was because I was going inside the building. Streaming is such a touchy thing. I don't recognize the top. This is the first time I've worn it. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a bit of a departure style-wise for me, I must say, but I'm into it. How was the steak the other day? Good. Yeah, last night, it was good. It was a really good steak. It, it definitely like hit the way I needed it to hit. Oh, thank you, Mandy. All right, we will go here. And hopefully it's not too loud inside. Thank you, Vlad. Pizza sounds better. Um, well, there's not really pizza here, so we're just gonna do this and we'll be good. Thank you, Glean. All right, let's get in line. How's the sound in here? Sound okay? Sounds good? Cool. All right. I'm just looking at the menu really quick so I can figure it out. Something different than last time. Sounds good. Great. Hi, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? Um, I'm assuming the corn is no longer. What a shame. It was so good. Um, okay, how about an impossible green chili cheeseburger? A um, order of fried Brussels sprouts. Um, a peanut butter milkshake, no, a strawberry milkshake add peanut butter. 12 is fine. Um, and maybe. Um, One other thing, is there any like other little bite that I could, that you would recommend? Yeah. You had our strawberry for three already, right? No, strawberry parfait, but I already got ice cream, you know? Um, I mean, I guess I could do a salad or like a tacos or something. Baja fish tacos, you know, I've had them before and they're not exactly my thing. Um, what, what's is, so is the taco shells like, are, what, what can you tell me about the taco shell, shells of the ahi pokey? It's just like a crunchy taco shell. Like regular, it's not, okay. Um, okay. Sure. Anything else for you today? That should be good. So I got the impossible green chili cheeseburger, the ahi pokey, the taco, fried brussels, sprouts, and small, I can uh, have that the next Large diet coke. Thank you. A uh, lily? Okay. I'll be right back. I'm here. I'm here. I see y'all. Thank you very much. Right from my wall back. Sorry, I'll take it from you. Thank you. All right, you too. Take it easy. All right, which table can we take? Someone is there. I was right here. This works. Is the sound good here? Are we good here? It's not perfect, I know, but should be okay. How much was it? Like $57. We got fried Brussels sprouts instead of fries. 
I promise you, they're just as good, if not better. $57. If anyone wants to help make that difference up for me, I have Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. It's all in my bio. I know, $57. Welcome to San Francisco. It's pretty obvious where I am. I know, it's a lot. I know. I know. Ooh, plastic. We, we have fried Brussels sprouts, y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry. Fried Brussels sprouts are good. I promise. Oh, oh thank God. Whew. Thank you, LAL. I know. Isn't this like, it's hitting the spot. Um, am I from Toronto? No. She's had fries every, I had fries last night. Exactly. We're getting fried Brussels sprouts. I promise they're good. No paper straw, yeah, plastic. It's compostable, apparently. I got the ahi pokey toka. To tacos. Tacos. Ahi pokey tacos. I do need the foods. I just like paper straws, too. Steel. <laughs> you mean like S-T-E-E-L? Steel, like stainless steel? What kind of soda? This is a Diet Coke. What do Brussels sprouts taste like? Really good, especially when they're fried. They, have, they come with like the cilantro mayo dressing. It's good. All right, this is kick. Nope, San Francisco is not as crazy as it sounds. There's a lot. There's like a weird campaign against San Francisco. It's a totally normal city. Price breakdown. Uh, it was like probably like seventeen dollars for the burger. I don't know what the price breakdown was, but it was fifty-seven dollars. So, yeah. Fried Brussels sprouts. Um, hi, Kylene. Hi, Anna C. Whoa, someone literally just covered the meal. Oh my God, that's so awesome. We'll end the walk. Who is that? Someone sent exactly $57. Hi, Stephanie. Who was that? I got to look and see. It's got to tell me what the name is. All right. It was Kelly Jean. Thank you, Kelly Jean. Everyone say thank you to Kelly Jean for sending $57 via PayPal. Thank you. That is so sweet. That is so sweet, Kelly. Thank you. Much appreciated. Again, I can't do this without people like Kelly who make this possible for me to do to offset and in some cases cover my meals. It's the only reason I'm able to do this. Being a content creator full time, which I am, making rent comes in a lot of different ways, right? And meals out is one of my expenses and having it covered goes a long way towards making it easier for me to, rate, to make rent every month. So thank you. Thank you, Kelly. I'm excited for the day where I don't have to think about rent. One of these days. One of these days I will be like, yeah, it's, it's all good. One of these days. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, especially SF rent, I know. How much is my rent? $2,100 a month. More than that, actually. A little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. What kind of tacos? Ahi poke tacos. So it's like sushi tacos. Try the melt. I mean, we have a lot of food coming, so we'll do that first. Um, oh, thank you, Christine. Yeah, it's only one hundred dollars a month. It's a lot, I know. By the way, is it is it better if I talk into the microphone? Is the sound better, or does it not make a difference? Like if it's here versus here. Uh, yeah, twenty one hundred a month for a studio apartment with no washer dryer. Um, okay, I'll just keep it here. No washer dryer. I have to go downstairs for that. And uh, no air conditioning either. Oh, Felicity, thank you. Felicity. Thank you, Felicity. Felicity, are you there? Felicity just sent $60. Yes, no, no washer dryer, no AC. $2,100 a month. Zero bedrooms. There you are, Felicity. Everyone say thank you to Felicity Life. Felicity sent $60 on Venmo. Felicity... Say it again. I said it before. Say it again. Felicity is one of a very small, a very small group of people that really like 
makes like an, a huge impact on what I do. Felicity is one of a very short list of people that does that. And like I said, even if my meals are paid for, which they usually are, and it's awesome, that's like evens out at zero, right? I still have rent to pay. And uh, Felicity is one of the people that that understands that and makes it possible for me to do this. So that for people who can't send $60 on Venmo, can enjoy this stream for free and have this safe space. So thank you. Thank you for listening. Am I taking any hormones? Well, I don't like the second half of the way that's worded, but I am taking hormones. Um, I have to go get the food, yeah. So we'll, we'll ask a table next to us to watch the stream. And if anyone takes the phone, you can screenshot their face. Thank you, Dina. Uh, thank you, Vivian. I'm glad, Marie Thorne. I'm, I'm glad. I mean, I'm happy that people can have a safe space and can enjoy it. Thank you. Me too. Um, I get a lot of, I mean, for all of the nastiness that is online, and there is lots, uh, I get a lot of really nice messages as well um, about this trip. Um, you, uh, Nancy tried a lime in her Coke. That's awesome. Uh, do I use women's bathrooms? Heck yes, I do. I don't know how to ask this, but do I want my voice to be more feminine? Not really. I like my voice. I don't like when I get called sir on the phone because of it, but I do like my voice. I'm glad. Uh, do I ever cook? Yeah. Tell us about Young Lily. Oh boy. Troublemaker. <laughs> Troublemaker. Determined, headstrong, nerdy, anxious, introvert sometimes. That's my mom. She's here sometimes in the chat. Uh, thank you, who? Thank you, Aloha. Where will the next piercing be? The girls, if you know what I'm saying. Um, have you ever been stopped in a woman's restroom? No. Uh, I do not, Golden Affair. I do not. Thank you, Amy. Them presenting, I am, who, what do you mean? I am type presenting. Cooking dinner yesterday, I bent over to get a spoon and it burned my, oh my, that's no good. What girls? The two girls. The girls. The two things that I didn't have until I started hormones, that's the next one. The only thing is that the girls are still growing. So it will be um, a few more years until I'm able to hear something. They're not fake. <laughs> I grew them myself. Um, what led you to content creation? Um, I've always liked creating. Oh, someone is asking about Young Lily. I used to, um, with my cousins, like make videos in the backyard. Like we were always, even as soon as I could make this stuff, I did. Um, and, you know, just always kind of created as a hobby. But then I eventually got a job in tech and I started getting traction on social media, specifically and weirdly on LinkedIn. I went viral when I came out on LinkedIn um, and that kind of like started. It was like, oh, I like this. I like creating and I could see a future there. Uh, so I kept doing it. And then eventually I got on Instagram. I got on TikTok. And uh, yeah, so here I am. Now I do this full time and it's awesome. And I, I am very fulfilled and I love, I, I, there's a huge need for it, for more trans people talking about their lives and, you know, explaining to people who we are. And yeah, so that's what I do. Why do I have to wait to pierce them? Because they're still growing. They're not, they're not at a uh, full volume yet. How long have I been out? Since... Early 2021, January 23rd, 2021 was the day. Um, um, squirrel jokes, I would say they're related, certainly. If I read that comment correctly, yeah. Um, yeah, they haven't reached their full power. They're not yet fully operational yet. Uh, no, no, food's fine. I mean, it's like a busy restaurant. We'll go get it. 
would that affect the piercing? It wouldn't affect, well, think about it. If you pierced something and then it grew, that might mess with it, right? So, yeah. Um, interesting, but I, I wonder if it's that or something else that, you know. Well, thank you, Goblin Queen. Hi. Uh, any advice on someone coming out? As long as you're physically safe. That's the number one thing. If you're not physically safe to come out, don't do it. Um, lesbian, eh, more, more or less, more or less. I do have a lesbian flag tattoo, so I guess I have to say yes, I am a lesbian. <laughs> it's 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 close. I might also get a sapphic tattoo. Sapphic is more appropriate. Hi, Misty. Hello. It's like ears when you pierce them young. Does that change? I I've, I've only had my ears pierced since like twenty twenty or twenty twenty. No wait. Oh, there's my food. All right. Excuse me. Could you watch my phone really quick while I get my food? Thank you so much. Screenshot anyone who uh, steals my phone. I bet you can still hear me, though, while I go and get my food, huh? Be ready to screenshot. Hi again. Hello. Perfect. Thank you so much. This looks delicious. And the silverware is right over. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that should be good. I think we're good. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, could I have a refill of diet? Or could you top me off? Thank you so much. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but if you can, hello. This is the voice of Lily. Ooh, could you put a lime in there as well? Oh, heck yes. Oh, heck yes, a lime. Uh, two, please. This is the life. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Coming back. Coming back. You can hear me. Good. I figured. Oh, I totally forgot to give them this. But we'll give it on the way up. All right. Thank you so much for watching my phone. Thanks. Here it is. Oh, this is great. Look at this, y'all. We got lime and a Coke. Oh, I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to do... Is this the right? This is probably the right angle right here, right? Doesn't it look good? Thank you to everyone who helped make this meal possible. Felicity and Kelly. All right, where should we start? I don't even know. We have a green chili impossible cheeseburger. We have fried Brussels sprouts. We have a PB&J shake. This is a PB&J shake, so peanut butter shake with strawberry, so PB&J. And ahi poke tuna tacos. What should we try? Well, we'll try the tacos first because they're cold. And, every, and we don't want to let, we'll let everything else kind of cool off first. Here's what it looks like. It's pretty good, huh? You can see the tuna. I'm kind of looking down at mine. Sesame, avocado, green onions, coleslaw. Pretty good. No good. No good, but that's nice. I mean, the shell is a little bit too thick for me, but other than that, the flavors are nice. High curse canvas. Someone asked, is it as good as it looks? Almost. I think if the shell was a little bit thinner and maybe a little bit more in line with the flavors of everything inside of it, it would be like a seven or an eight. It's a six out of 10, but like a really strong six out of 10. Like nothing wrong with it. Is there a sauce? Well, there's a poke sauce. Amanda says, why do some trans people choose to talk in a high voice and some don't? It's personal choice. Um, I like my voice. Some trans women feel dysphoria over their voice. Different, different people, different things that bother them or don't bother them. 
thing. You the kitschy cactus. Want to make me a pair of earrings? Um, sure, send me a DM. I, I, I love earrings. Milkshake looks more peanut butter than strawberry. Well, it is a strawberry shake with peanut butter added. So in theory, it should be the other way around. Mm. Leo Lee, I have Venmo and PayPal. Um, if you want to contribute to the meal fund, um, you know, anything, technically you'd be contributing tomorrow's meal, but I appreciate it. If that's something you want to do. I can't talk to them. Of course I'm into them. I should eat a falafel wrap. Yeah, maybe. Thank you. I do like my curls. I can't wear white shirts, especially while eating. Well, fingers crossed we don't stain this today. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jay. Where's something you have to eat in SF? Um, what kind of food do you like? What's a genre of food? I can make a recommendation. The color coordination is spot on. Thank you. I needed this. Okay. What should we try next? Let's try the um, the Brussels sprouts. Thank you, Mama Warren. These are Brussels sprouts. I'm going to put the lime on there. Now, this is a cilantro crema. It's very good. Can you try Indian food? I would love to. There's not very many Indian places in my area that are good for streaming. There are plenty of Indian places, but none of them have particularly good lighting or sound. There is one place I really want to go to called Copra. Best Italian place in SF. Okay. For what kind of Italian food? Pizza or pasta or like steak? Because it's different answers for all of them. This is the cilantro crema. Coco's Ichibana. I don't know what that is. Could you be friends with someone who is still in the closet? You mean to the world or to themselves? The answer to both is yes. But there's a lot. People are in the closet for a lot of reasons. It's not for me to judge. Of course, I'd encourage them to come out of the closet if it was a thing they could do and be safe. Have I been rejected from a restaurant because of my dog? Yes. Do I like Lebanese food? Yeah. It's like Middle Eastern food, right? Do I have some on my mouth? Thank you. Never seen Brussels sprouts like Oh, yeah. Brussels sprouts like this. No, I take hormones. These are 10 out of 10. Something I see a lot of restaurants get wrong, or at least I don't like it, is when they do fried Brussels sprouts, but they'll put bacon or like honey or like feta. Just fry them, salt them, and then give some sort of dip. I don't need anything else. This is a milkshake, yeah. These Brussels sprouts are fried. They're very good. Olive oil, salt, and pepper, yeah. Crema on the tacos. Actually, it's not a bad idea. My go-to comfort food. Right now, it's frozen mango. No, I guess good. Oh, oh. I guess good. I gotta go home and walk them after this, but are the Brussels soft? Yeah, they're soft and crunchy. I tried coming in and out of stream. Um, like you might be getting filtered. Try and ask it again. Yes, I am dating a girl. Our impossible burger. I'm not vegan, no, I'm not even vegetarian. But this is an a green chili cheeseburger, but instead of meat, it's an impossible burger. I like my steaks medium, whoever asked that. Brussels sprout down. Thank you, Samantha. Do people get mad at you for streaming? No. 
What food are you making for tomorrow's stream? So, y'all tell me. We talked yesterday about my friend Christina coming to join us on stream. And she's going to do a live drawing of me and my family while I cook. Christina had to reschedule. Which means that tomorrow it'll just be me. Do you want to do an at-home stream tomorrow? Or do you want to try and do a restaurant? Do people recognize you? They do. Yeah. Do we want to do an at-home? Y'all like at-home stuff? Y'all like watching me cook? We don't do it very often. At-home would be fun. What should I cook? That's the only thing is like do a funky snack review. You know, we used to do that a lot. Um, we used to do that kind of thing a lot. Okay. I would like to make a pie. Sonia? Have I ever been to Japantown? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jaza. Yes, I did find food. Would you consider yourself a good cook? Oh, yeah, I'm a good cook. I mean, I'm not like a chef, but I can hold my own in the kitchen, for sure. Epic meal time? Oh, my God. Pepper's pie could be fun. Cheesecake? Okay. Kylie, Dad. Yo. Pasta and pie? Okay. Yeah, there's a Japan town in uh, San Francisco. Pretty significant. A lot of good restaurants and, like, the big Japanese grocery store. Have I tried that ice cream called... Uh, almost got me. Um, me... So I know they're really good Brussels sprouts. How old am I? I am 30. Woo. Thank you, Lynn. Oh my God. You like epic meal time? I mean, that's the thing though. I so I, I don't I'm not really interested in creating like food challenges where I eat a lot as much as I can. I do eat a lot, but that's not the point. Um, I would much rather try and make something interesting than like big. Thank you, Carolina. So if you have a recipe recommendation, what about people recognizing you and coming up to me? I'm totally fine. Just if you see me in public, if you want to hug me, just ask for a hug. Like earlier in the stream, someone saw me and they touched my shoulder without asking, which is not cool. But I'm very friendly if you say hi. You get offended by they, them pronouns when you state that you go by she, her. Everyone uses they, them pronouns. Everyone does. They, them is something that everyone uses. You just don't think about it. But no, you can, I'm, you can call me they or she. Just don't call me he. Love to see me do Korean. Interesting. Okay. Make a cheesecake. I don't have a spring form. I do not have a spring corn pan, which would be the main, although I bet there's ways around that. Korean corn dogs, interesting. Okay. I do have a tripod, yes. Brussels sprouts. Well, we have Brussels sprouts now. I wouldn't mind like roasted corn. That could be fun. It's calling you handsome offensive, yes. Handsome is a masculine descriptor. What did I say when the person touched my shoulder? I didn't say anything. It was kind of, it was like a second and a half long interaction. Do those Brussels, Brussels sprouts have sauce? Oh, no, no. There's sauce here. I was dipping it. Try making British food. It's like a shepherd's pie. You can visit our booth in San Jose. San Jose is too far away from me. I'm sorry. 
it's like because I don't have a car, it's like a couple hours to get down there, so it's not really doable. I apologize. I did enjoy the Brussels sprouts. We even got the little crispies here left over. But we still have the burger and the milkshake to go. Let's try the milkshake. Thank you, Paul Piano. And you can take, yeah, but Caltrain still, it's like several hours. Is Cha 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 still open? Yes, they are. PB and J. PB and J, y'all. How do you react when people get my pronouns wrong? Um, I correct them. I try and be as respectful and kind about it as possible, but I let them know. All right, let's get this burger. I just ordered Chinese, not spicy, and it was spicy. I called them back. Am I the problem? No. I would have done exactly that. You did the right thing. I would have driven right back or done whatever. You're paying for the food. It better be right. That's a little bit intense. If you're paying for the food. It should be right. And if it isn't, they should fix it. People going to get sick from spicy. Yeah. Do you hear about that one chip challenge thing? Wild. All right. Here it is. This is an impossible burger. So vegetarian burger. So I guess it's it's not vegan because um, there's cheese on there, but close enough. Thank you, Dogs. I love them. I mean, this is a burger place, so it makes sense that the burger would be good. I'm not a vegetarian, no. I'm, um, I eat basically anything, but when I when I go to burger places, I'll try to get an Impossible Burger because, like, eating plant-based is the right thing to do. It's hard to do it. I eat to, I, look, I eat for a living, right? Um... But even before that was the case, there's too many foods I like that are not vegan or vegetarian. Um, but Impossible Burgers in particular taste as good as the real thing. So why would I not get that? Right? The most exotic food I've ever tried. Horse. I had horse once. Tripe. I had tripe. It's not good. Probably those two. Favorite chain restaurant? Taco Bell. Well, hold on. Are we talking fast food or fast casual? Because if fast casual is involved, do I like Indian food? I love Indian food. Have I had caviar? Yes. Yes, I have. I ate horse once. It was in Europe. Was it good? Well, here's the thing, Missy. Here's here's the situation under which I tried horse meat. It was a mixed platter of beef, lamb, and horse. And I got to tell you, they all kind of tasted the same. I mean, they were a little bit different, but I couldn't pin the one that was like definitely horse. So to answer your question, yeah, it was fine. I'm look, I'm not in the habit of eating horse meats, but I did. Do I try vegan places? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We streamed from several. Chipotle or Moe's? Chipotle. No contest. Would I get extensions? Nah, probably not.
I might get lash extensions, but not hair. I'm sure. I'm sure of it, Suzy Q. I'm not like, oh my god, horse meat. I have to have it all the time now. I tried it because it was given to me. That's it. Only had it once. Who said that? I had an opinion when I start joined, but the longer I watch, you seem really cool and down. Thank you, Dylan. I'm glad you're here. Pizza Hut or Domino's? They're both kind of the same. I'm sure one is better than the other, but I don't know. Hi, Danny. I should wear my hair down. Uh, sometimes I do. It's just, here's the thing. My hair is so thick that when it's down, I start getting too high. I, I overheat like every time. Even when I'm alone and not on stream, just chilling in my house, apartment, my hair's up. In and out or Whataburger? Well, of those two choices, one is a terribly homophobic and um, right leaning company, and the other is not. So I would say Whataburger is better. I've had both. Whataburger is better. Thank you, Rachel. And yes, the curls are natural. Uh, Megan's at home. Thank you, Bernie. Space buns would be cute. I haven't done space buns in a while. Maybe sometime soon. I'll just have some more. You can see there's strawberries in there. See the strawberries in there? It's PB and J. Yeah. Like what? Uh, In and Out is just as bad as Chick Fil A. In and Out and Chick Fil A are cut from the same cloth. They both give money to people who support, who who do not think I should exist. So I don't need either of them. Shake Shack is really good. I like Shake Shack. Chick Fil A. The, the problem is Chick Fil A is delicious, but I refuse to eat there. In and Out isn't even delicious, which makes it very easy not to eat there. Um, Chick Fil A. Um, Red Robin. I don't know if I've been to Red Robin. Do I have lipstick under my nose? Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks. Chick-fil-A, avocado, ranch wrap. I just like the waffle fries and the sandwiches. Very good. Chick-fil-A is against my existence, as is in and out Both of them. So, like, by eating there, I am advocating against myself indirectly, which is no good. <laughs> Adriana, you cracked me up. Arby's has good waffle. Doesn't Arby's have curly fries? Isn't Arby's curly fries? Yeah, In and Out too. In and Out does a better job at like hiding that, but they do just as much as Chick Fil A against their community. It's bad. Arby's has curly fries. Yeah, I didn't think they have waffle fries. The owner of in and out has been married three times. That doesn't bother me so much as the fact that they give their money to people they shouldn't give their money to. Thank you, Nikki. Arby's has curly and crinkle. Okay. I don't know if I've ever had, have I had Arby's before? Maybe once or twice. I really don't know much about Arby's. Burger King has the best fries? That is a hot take. People can, yeah, 100%. Dip the burger in the sauce. Okay, we'll try the sauce. This is a cilantro crema. I don't know why just now I'm doing this. Hi, Kay. I was at the floor earlier this morning. Hello. Were you working there or were you a customer? Chick fil A has the best fries. Agree, fries. Even though I wouldn't eat there anymore, I don't like Chick fil A sauce though. Because I don't like barbecue sauce. Thank you, Michaela. Burger Five? Is that a place? I never heard of Burger Five. We were a veggie pizza and add them to add pepperoni. There's nothing wrong with that. 
a customer is downstairs from my office. Got it. Well, hi. You can, if you see me again, you can say hi. Why would I not eat at Chick Fil A? Because they give money to people who advocate against my existence. What perfume do I wear? I don't wear perfume. I wear unscented deodorant. Although my hair products smell kind of floral. This was, I should just have this on hand anytime I eat a burger. Mm. No shoulder taps though, yeah. Chick fil A serves poison. Well, I'd probably say that for any fast food place. That's not why I don't want to eat there, but. One food I've never had, but never always wanted to. I don't really have that. I've tried a lot of things. Get nails done. I gotta go walk nugget after this. Thank you, Coco. I do want my nails done, though. I do want my nails done. This is a peanut butter and jelly milkshake. Now, technically, they don't serve PB and J milkshakes here. What you do is you ask for a strawberry milkshake at peanut butter. It's good. Have I eaten alligator? Have I eaten alligator? Maybe. Probably. Mm. Soup dumplings? I do like soup dumplings. That's so good. Do I like steak and shake? I haven't had much steak and shake. UPR Harper. Alligator beef jerky. Oh, no, no. I have that alligator. I had it in the form of jerky. It was not good. I've never eaten rattlesnake, nor do I want to. Have I ever been to Minnesota? Yes, I went to school in Minnesota. I went to McAllister College in St. Paul. Soup dumpling, is there a trend about soup dumplings? I was not aware. Thank you, Alita. I appreciate it. Craving soup dumplings? I do like soup dumplings. What did I go to school for? Uh, I got a, I majored in media and cultural studies. So about as liberal arts as you can be, but you know, the value of that is not necessarily in like the jobs you get because of it and more of like world outlook and writing skills, which are in some ways more important, well, or just as important. I'm glad I did it, is what I'm saying. Trader Joe's Scoop Dumplings. Thank you, Beyonce. I appreciate that. Hi from Mexico. Hello. I don't know if I've had frog legs. I don't remember how. Maybe. I'm a 50s diner girl. Thank you. I know. That's kind of the vibe right now. This is, this is like a burger and milkshake place, and I, I do have a 50s vibe. It's true. Do you ever cook? Yes. What I end up getting, we had a green chili cheeseburger with an impossible burger patty, fried Brussels sprouts, ahi tuna tacos, a peanut butter and jelly milkshake, and a diet coke. Would I post a picture of myself pre-transition? Yes. You can go through my timeline and you will see many of them. You can absolutely see them. Also, on my Insta. The ahi tacos were probably the weakest thing they had, I must say. It wasn't bad. Like, the Brussels were a 10 out of 10. The burger was a 9 out of 10. The only thing that could have been better about the burger was the, the, pat, the what's it called? The bun was just a little bit dry. It wasn't, like, obnoxiously dry. It, was, it just could have been a little moister. If it wasn't for that, it would have been a 10. Tacos were, like, a 6. The shape, 9. Diet Coke is a 10, of course, because it's Diet Coke. The tacos, six? What do you mean six? There are three of them. I do, Kristen. Hey, I'm on it, so yes. Well, they have really good ice cream here. Have you ever been to the UK? Yes, I studied abroad in Scotland for a semester. Would I ever want a quilt with its trans and sapphic logo? Yeah. Yeah, I would. So yeah, overall, eight out of 10 meal. 
Really solid. Thank you, Rachel. Glasgow University. University of Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I always forget like what street I was on, but I was right next to the library. University of Glasgow, that area. I was like walking distance from the, the student library. Um, in 20, like late 2013, I think, early 2014. Did you miss it? Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna repost this on the Google Drive. Do I have a PO box? I do not have a PO box. But if you message me, we can talk. I'd be scared living in Glasgow. No, no, I had a good time. I didn't really ever feel unsafe. Glasgow's a nice city. It's one of those, in the same way that San Francisco has a bad reputation, Glasgow has a bad reputation, neither are deserved. Hi, Valerie. Is Soma for you? No, Soma's fine. Do I ever get anxiety? Yes. Tips? Um, deep breaths. Deep breaths. Was I out in Glasgow? No, I was not. I was not. not even to myself. Thank you, Kathy. Anyone who doesn't like Glasgow is classist. Yeah. No, Glasgow is really nice. I had I had a good time there. I like Scottish people. The culture there is fun. It's it's very it's a good vibe. The only thing about Glasgow I don't like is how it's raining all the time. That's more of a UK thing, but that was tough. Thank you, pretty big by Lauren. Am I a Leo? No, I'm an Aquarius. Only been in, into Edinburgh. We went to Edinburgh briefly. I actually met someone that I was in a pretty long term relationship with in Scotland. So she wasn't Scottish. We broke up. Oslo's reputation is from the 70s. Thank you, Beck. The meal was $57 there. Total. Super Duper Union? Like the burger place? Super Duper? Hi, pierogies. What a satisfying meal that was. I figured we would end up here because, you know, when we were walking on the other side of town, I was like, there's no way we're going to find a restaurant, are we? Maybe. Maybe. But I think it was, it was the Salesforce conference that messed us up. What did we get? We got a green chili vegetarian cheeseburger. My mate says you need a P.O. box. Well, here's the thing about a P.O. box. As soon as I make a P.O. box, think about it. If you have not great intentions and you have an address that you can send me things, think about it. Just think about what I might find in my P.O. box. Probably a lot of really cool stuff. Probably also a really large amount of not cool stuff. All it takes is one Twitter post to go viral. And my box is filled with a lot of stuff I don't want to see. Um, yeah, if you, if you subscribe on Patreon and I know you, uh, I'm willing to give you a place to send things. But I, 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 I got to kind of know you a little bit. My birthday is January 31st, Fatima. Exactly, Mrs. Strada. There's people on the internet that really, really don't like me. I can only imagine what how creative they would be. Also, PO boxes. Anyone want to guess how much they cost in the city of San Francisco? Oh, happy birthday to all of you. Yeah, January babies. Did the veggie burger come with fries? No, we got fried Brussels sprouts. $500 a month. No, no, sorry, per year, excuse me, year. $500 a year. Because it's San Francisco. Are we at the Patreon? Tri oh, oh our daughter's Eden. Where do you live, Andy? The answer is yes, but where do you live? I can't, I can't say I'll be able to make it, but you're welcome to send me an invitation. 
Demandy, I know and trust. Amazon wish list. Yeah, I gotta update my Amazon wish list. Um, Five hundred dollars a year, yeah. But like, even if it was zero dollars a year, <coughs> still would probably end up being a bad idea. Um, it'd be a bad idea. Even if it, even if they paid me, it would be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I gotta update the Amazon list. It's really out of date. Hair and outfit reminds me of early Britney Spears. Ew, that's very much the vibe I'm going for. Maybe Britney Spears was my my style icon. Like 90, like hit me baby one more time, Britney Spears. Style icon. Oh, thank you, my name. I live in SF Layla. We had a lot of toys for Nugget. Yeah, I would, but I'd also get a lot of not good things. Thank you for Ogies. Uh, what did we eat? We had burger. We had a burger. We had burger. Burger, ahi tacos, Brussels sprouts, fried Brussels sprouts. Sounds good, Jess. I'm excited. Um, Diet Coke, peanut butter and jelly milkshake. God, I love that shake. They should put that on their menu, PB&J shake. It would sell like crazy. No one thinks about it because it's not on the menu. What else do I have planned for my day? Um... Walking Nugget, that's for sure. Um, I'm glad I said your name right. Uh, Walking Nugget. I don't know. What's today? Thursday? Helen said, if you aren't cis, you are trans. That is true. Binary gender doesn't exist. In, well, no, binary gender does exist. I am a trans woman. I'm on the gender binary. Man or woman, I'm a woman. But if you're not... Okay, cis means that the gender you were assigned at birth is the one that you identify as. Trans, mean, trans means the one you were assigned at birth is not the one you identify as. That's the simple explanation. So that means that both like binary trans people and non-binary trans people are trans. Are, are, are trans. Wait, been on stream for too long. Binary and non-binary trans people are trans. All right, we're not. We 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 were in. We were in on this earlier. I, I don't think we need to dig back into it. Uh, pizza and steak. We actually got lasagna and steak yesterday, Jeff. Non-binary is under the trans umbrella. Yes, it is. Um, oh, nice, Ashley. I'm excited. I've never had crystals and sage. Very new to me. Hello from Saskatchewan. No, you're fine, Monarch. But yeah, non-binary people are trans. They are. Am I having voice surgery now? I was born a girl. Yeah. Stuff full of tacos. Yeah, me too. I, I'm not full of tamales, but I am full of tacos, among other things. Saskatchewan is in Canada? I'm eating noodles, nice. Noodles are good. What if I'm non-binary and I do not identify as trans? I've heard of that happening, but... I, I mean, it's the same thing as, like, not being want, wanting to be called cis. Like, you can say you're not trans. You can say you're not cis, but ultimately, you are what you are. Um, if you don't identify that with the gender you were assigned at birth, you are trans. Whether that means you're on the binary or not, you're still trans either way. So, unless, so, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why. I think maybe some non-binary people might not identify or like say they're not trans because people don't understand what it means to be trans and you can get a lot of flack for it. But even still, like, it doesn't make you not trans. You are. Whether or not you call yourself trans. If you are non-binary, you are trans. Thank you, Lolos. Uh, am I a super duper? No, I'm not a super duper. So, but we, we, you know, it's kind of rehashing what we talked about earlier. Um, you know, the definition of what cis and trans is, is the important thing. Um, and, oh yeah, I did see angels come. Yesterday I was making fun of you, but now I'm not as immature, so I'm sorry for my trade. All is good, angel. Thank you for saying so. 
Whew. Okay. Are we ready to uh, head out, y'all? Thank you, Bridget. I think I'm ready. My friend is trans. He had a mastectomy, but no other operations, but he... Okay. I'll wait for the second part. Super Duper is so good. I don't know if I've had Super Duper. Thank you, Jesse. Is it not cold where you live? No, not really. This uh, charger. We got plenty of charge on the phone now. Nugget is a multi mix princess. Or no, that's someone else. Guys. Jenny. Here, I think I forgot to bring that in. Here you go. Thank you. Right. One sec, y'all. Thank, Thank you. All right. Here we are. Off we go. Where did I get the bag? Uh, on Amazon. It's the it's the brand is called Lily Queen. Here, let me unmirror it so you can see that it says exactly like the best thing a bag could possibly say. Lily Queen. I had to add an extra L in there with a permanent marker. Right? Isn't that awesome? It was like twelve dollars. This bag. It's perfect. I definitely need that bag. I know, right? It's the best bag ever. I want a red version of it. Uh, iPhone. iPhone, Robert. Always. Oh, yay. Someone became a new Patreon. Rhea. Welcome, Rhea. I know. Isn't my bag awesome? I need the red version of it. We'll, we'll get there. Rhea, if you are listening, thank you for subscribing to Patreon. Appreciate it. Uh, Patreon is the place that you can... re. If So if you like want to watch every stream I've ever done, you can. <laughs> it's all there uh, on Patreon. You get access to the Discord, which is like a whole way to be involved with the community. You get extra streams, all sorts of stuff. Watch my purse strap. Okay, thank you. Um, Patreon's a place to do it. You get all the stuff. The Lilies Lovelies can chime in and talk about how, how worth it it is. It's one of the ways that I'm able to uh, support myself and be a content creator full time. I do. Thank you, Stina Marie. Am I always saying your name right? How do you want me to say your name? Because you're always here. Is it Marie? Is it Stina Ina Marie? Hi, Donna. You're all good, Froggy. See, there you go. See, Mandy you knows. It's good. It's cool. It's worth it. Yes, my family supports me. What is Lily's Lovelies? Lily's Lovelies is the community that exists around these streams. Whoa! Thank you, Limey. That's cool. Never seen the swan before? Thank you! Thank you very much! The more fancy it looks, the more expensive it is. So thank you. Vlet is Ria. Oh, thank you, Vlet. All right, Vlet, welcome. Make sure you join the Discord. The Discord is where all the fun happens. All the extra streams, all the conversation. It's all there. Thank you, Christine. Yeah, half the family. Ha yeah, my, my family is great. They were on the stream last week. My mom was in the stream this morning, like, watching. Oh, thank you. I live in SF. Let's be friends. Sure, hit me up. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I think that's it for me today. Oh, Stina, Ina, Ina Marie. Wait. So, wait. Okay, Ina, what, what, what should I call you, though? It's always freezing by the... Huh? Okay, okay, okay. While well, I have good connection. Hello. Gosh darn it. All right. 
Are we good now? Can I can I talk without getting cut off? I think I might be good. I love y'all. Thank you for being here. I will be back tomorrow with, I suppose, an at-home cooking stream. Um, cool. Thank you. Anything else we want to talk about? Okay, good. At least you can hear me now. So I can say goodbye. I love you. I will talk to you later. I will see you.